Welcome, sir. Jamie. Welcome, sir. How are you? Fine, sir. How is your family? Fine, sir. I'm not married yet, though. That's all right. <laughs> You're welcome. What are you doing? You're funny. Using your share to clean laptop? Sorry, sir. Jimmy? Sir? I hope you're good. I'm pretty good, sir. That's great to know. <clears throat> uh, please, call me the manager. Okay, Chief. Yeah, I'm good. The MD demands to see you in his office right away. Uh, okay, uh, I will join him soon. Mr. Jimmy? Yeah, yeah. What is it? Have we not greeted this morning? What's all this greeting about? Is What's it about? Is it a crime to greet someone ten times in a day? Is it a crime? I have your time, baby. Pedro, sorry, um, I needed to push the send button for the email I was um, preparing, and um, I didn't want to truncate my thought process. Okay, it's okay, sir. All right. So, the board meeting of yesterday, how did it play out in my absence? Ah. So far, so good, Chief. The meeting was as good as successful. Really? Yes. Okay. So, what was the outcome of um, our contract proposal to Diamond Trust Limited? Ah, Chief, it might interest you to know that the deal between us and uh, Diamond Trust Limited is as good as sealed. Really? Yes. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is great. Chief, we are good to go. Douglas and Douglas Associate Limited remains number one. Number one indeed. <laughs> you see, Pedro, um, I have absolute confidence in you. The fact that you could convince Diamond Trust Limited to award us a contract of a whooping 50 billion naira, I mean, it shows how good you are, it shows how efficient and effective you are. Um, I really appreciate that and I think I have to reward you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chief. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Hmm. That's great. That's great. Um, get me their file and that of uh, Affix Investment. Okay? Oh, sure. sure. Congratulations. Thank you, Chief. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Chief, excuse me. Yes, Thank you. Whew. That's great. Come in. Hi. It's 
speak. BMD demands your presence. Poverty away. Bali and Adi. My MD. Gosh, I cannot wait to behold your handsome face. Oh, how I have missed you. Them, so you are, girl. You're cute. Good morning, Stephanie. How are you? Very well, Chief. Good. We missed you. Well, I'm here now. Uh, please sit down. Okay, Chief. Give me a minute. I just want to peruse through this. Okay, Chief. Yeah, um, Stephanie? Yes, boss. Please, I need you to send me the account details of um, Diamond Trust Limited and uh, Affix Investment Limited. Okay, Chief. All right. I will need those details by 10 a.m. tomorrow on my table. Um, Barrister Eber will be here. 
and we put final touches to the contract documents. Okay, Chief. All right? But I want uh, Pedro to go through it first, so pass it through him before you bring it here, okay? Okay, Chief. Good. Um, one more thing. Uh, you can have this. Okay, Chief. One more thing. Um, I will need you to also give me the details of um, Kana Investment Limited. I suppose you're working on them already, okay? Okay, Chief. Good. Yes. Let me have that as soon as possible. Right? Certainly. Okay. Um, that will be all for now. Chief? Yes. Aren't you forgetting something? Stephanie? Yes, Chief. Where were you? I don't understand, Chief. Were you not here when I said that would be all for now? I thought you might be needing uh, something else. Stephanie, your absent-mindedness is beginning to get to my nerves. You better work on that, okay? I'll go back to your work. Okay, Chief. advise you. I would say you should forget about Miss Stephanie and her arrogancy. Focus on your work. You know where you're coming from. You know your background. As you can see, I'm minding my business, doing my job. Do not say I did not tell you, Makada Ama. Hmm. Love you, the best you never done. Love you. You know, love yeah. It's the best you never done. Love yeah. Oh, lunch time. Aren't you going for lunch? What is wrong with me? Why am I even falling for this girl? Look at how I'm sweating. Like a Christmas goat. A whole Jimmy. Jimmy boy. The one and only Jimmy back then in Ebu Zaria. I was very hot now. A very hot dude. Hmm? Salad umasa. Hmm? Palliative uma umasa. How am I even falling for this girl? It's Steph one. I'm not Steph. Okay. Let's see what will happen now. Once she comes back, I will allow her to enter her office. I know she will shake her bum bum, but I will still look at her bum bum because I love her so much. Yes, I will just allow her to enter. Then I will walk up to the door. I will pause normally, check my mouth <laughs> if he's smelling. Then my armpit is not smelling. Because she normally notices all these things. So I should be very careful. Then I'll knock her door before entering. <coughs> then I'll hear a voice. Yes! Who is that? I say, it's me, Jimmy. Yes, yes, well, what is this coming? Coming! Once I walk in, I'll look at her face. I'll say, hi. 
Hi, Miss Stephanie. How are you? She look at me. Who is this one? Uh -huh. What is it? What can I do for you? I said, please calm down and listen to me. Miss Steph, please calm and listen to me for once, okay? You have to hear what I have to say. Say what you want to say and get out of my office. We are not mates. I said, please, Miss Steph. You know how much I love you. She wants to talk in that unusual manner because she's very arrogant. Very, very arrogant. But you know when you love someone, <laughs> you do they see the arrogancy. You do they see them at all. Because love will blind your face, blind your eyes. Then, I'll look into her eyes. I'll look into her eyes directly to her face. Then I'll kneel down. You know how much I love you. You just have to listen to me. She could just say, I should not do my eye. But I should not do my eye. She no not know that the love, the pure love what I have for her is just killing me, just in my heart. Say, Mr. Steph, please. Please hear me out. Um, Mr. Jimmy. Are you okay? Of course I'm okay. Are you sure everything is alright? Do you know if I'm praying? Do we used to pray in this office? Of course I'm okay. Don't you see somebody is Here. And why is this one sweating like a goat? They're taking to the shrine for his sacrifice. You know my problem right now. Can't you mind your business? Mind your business. Come on. I have been faithful. I have been living my life in fear of you. I have my reasons to quit, but please can we turn right now? Friend, focus. Stop prognosing. Big news. They say people have big news, they keep closing. Where have you been for long? Are you chilling somewhere? Can you feel my pain? Where have you been for long? I have waited, I have prayed. Running out of time Can you at least listen to me for once? Mr. Jimmy, what is it? As you can see, I don't have all day. I know you're a very busy person. I know that. Can you just spare me all of that and go straight to the point? Okay, okay. 
Mr. you see, I've been praying concerning a marriage and... Um, and what? And God told me something. God told me that you are my wife. Want to marry me? I've been waiting. I've been praying. Come, Jimmy. Are you sick? Wait. You said you did pray, and God told you that I am your wife. I heard it loud and clear. Go back and pray again. This time, kabash in tongues, vibrates in prayer. I'm pretty sure that God will reveal to you who your true wife is. Because it can never be me. It's you. Wait, 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 wait. Jimmy. <laughs> Hold up. Just take a proper look. Oh, I know what God showed me. At me. Look at me so well. I've seen you, baby. Stephanie, baby. For real. You're hot. Shut up. Hey. Stephanie, the one thing. God cannot lie. Stephanie, <laughs> Stephanie, don't so foul. Come, Jimmy. They don't tell you the shoe get size. You were exactly my size anyway. For you to think that I, Stephanie, will be your wife. Eh? Let me even ask you. How much is your salary? Uh, let's, let's forget about that one. <laughs> oh, shut up. Uh, How much do you earn a salary? That makes you think. You can marry me. Huh? I'm a man, you know. Hey. What thing they do some men self? They don't feel hang their clothes where their hand feel rich. Jim, you won't die. You want to carry a load that is bigger than you. If you carry me. It. Stephanie. You actually had the infantry to walk into my office to spew this nonsense. Listen to me. Let this be the very first and last time you will walk into this office to utter this nonsense before you. Get out. Steph, calm down first, okay? Calm down. Stop rushing these things. It's not fair, okay? That I love you beside I don't love you. Get out! You know the self of my eye? It's very deep. It's very serious. It's a very, very, very genuine love. Steph, see, I want you to take time to think about what I told you. He is actually serious. He is very serious. And I also want you to pray about what this okay pray about it you Jimmy my prayer point I reject it I can never settle for a low life like you a zero identity I'll get out Steph I love you love kill you then not finish your papa! Get out! So if you understand the kind of love I have for you, eh? The kind of love I have for you. Oh my God. 
Jimmy love you. Jimmy Mwa loves you. It's okay. It's okay. I know I know you love me deep down in your heart, but it's okay. It's okay. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Come on, sir. Don't do this. God of the poor. Where have you been for long? Are you chilling somewhere? Can you feel my pain? God of the universe. Mr. Jimmy, you're crying. You went to see Miss Stephanie only for you to come out looking like this. What did she say to you? What's, what's the need of this, this life? I just want to die. I'm better off dead. Than being this way. There's no need to leave you, I just want to die. Mr. Jimmy, I don't know what she said to you. I don't know what is wrong with you or what you're thinking about. But I want you to know that God has not forgotten you. He will never forget his own. No. He's God. You're Jimmy. You're different. You're special. You're you. Please, Jimmy. I want you to put yourself together and know that you're strong. I don't understand. He won't understand. I just want to die. This, this, I'm, I'm better off dead. Just want to die. Just want to die. I'm better off dead. No, Jimmy, please. Don't say that. It's only God in heaven. He died for your sin. He died for my sin. He has already paid the price. So why do you want to die? No. You have to be strong. That God that paid our price the God that made you to be alive today, the God that kept you, he will still see you true. He will never abandon his own. He's always more concerned about you. Take a look at where you're coming from and see where God has brought you. Can't you see? You have every reason to be grateful. Is this life? Is this all life? Is this life? Eh? Let me just die and, no. and rest and let all this thing so no. Can you hear me? Miss Stephanie? God of the poor. Speak. Where have you been for okay. long? Miss Stephanie, it's been two weeks now. I've asked you to pray about our marriage proposal. Excuse me? About us. Mr. Jimmy. See, one thing I love the way you call my name. Yeah. I'm very sure you heard me loud and clear the last time. You are not my type. This cannot work. Can't you see it is so glaring? There is a big gap between us. Fine. Let me refresh your dumb memory. Mr. Jimmy. Yeah. Mr. Jimmy. You are the company's messenger. Common messenger. And I I'm the company's accountant. Secondly, I cruise 
in a Mercedes while you do not even have an ordinary bicycle. Thirdly, in this institution, I am your superior. You take all the from me. So, can you reconcile? Can you see that this can never work? It will never work. I cannot condescend to your level. Okay, fine. Let me be nice this once. Mr. Jimmy, take this advice. Go to your village. Tell your mother to look for a village girl for you to marry. Ah, that is if she's still alive. Hey, 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 hey. Hold it there. Okay? Do you understand? Do not try that again with me. In as much as I'm asking you to be my wife, does not give you the right to insult my mother. Hey! Do you understand? Hey! Mr. Jimmy! What will you do? Beat me? I'm not going to beat you. Not at all. Because I love you all my heart but I want you to do something for me stop looking down on people because no one knows tomorrow I might be the company's messenger today but things might change tomorrow yes I might not have it today but tomorrow is greater so please stop looking down on people it's not good I look down on you. Why won't I look down on you when your shoe keeps drawing my attention? Your shoe is even looking down on you. Get out of my office. I need to get back to work. Get out! I have been Thank you, Chief. <laughs> I like your suit. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. Uh, you see, uh, you might be wondering why uh, I'm having a kind of discussion with you right here in front of the office. Okay? You've been working with me for a long time now. You are a diligent worker. You have contributed a lot to the growth and the profitability of this company. As a result, uh, I've decided to reward you. Uh, the reward might not be really adequate, but uh, it's just a token of appreciation. All right? <laughs> Chief, I don't, I don't know what to say. Yes, you know, the, the, the reward for hard work is more hard work, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. But uh, it's also good to just give something to motivate a staff as a show of appreciation for your good work. <gasps> so this is your car key. Chief! 
Chief! That is your call. Am I dreaming or what? <laughs> For me? You are not dreaming. Chief! Oh my god, thank you! <gasps> Chief! <laughs> yes! <laughs> ah, Chief! This is for the big boys! Oh my god! Oh let down, let down! Man. Huh. Chief! Thank you, Chief! For me? Yes, 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 thank you! Thank you, Chief! Thank you, Chief! Thank you, Chief! Thank you! Uh, well, Pedro, that is not all. You have a car, at least you will go. Uh, Want to buy fuel, you want to wash it. So, this is a check of one million dollars for you to buy fuel and wash the car. Chief! Help. One million dollars for me! For me! Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you, Chief! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you Chief! Thank you! I have been oh my god. I have been living my life in fear of you. I have my reasons to quit, but please, can we turn right now? Where is your message? Oh, I'm pleading your message. Please, please be the mother of my unborn kids. Jimmy. Don't you get it? We are like two parallel lines that can never meet. Get that into your thick skull. Stuff you see, you don't have to jump into conclusion like that. Okay? You just need to pray and think over it. I mean my proposal. Please. Read my lips. I cannot. I will not. I will never marry you. Stay. Hey. You stink. Your mouth stinks. Did you even brush this morning before coming to spew nonsense before me? I did. I did. Jimmy, do you use deodorant? Each time you walk into my office, you change the, 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 the smell of this office. Have you ever seen a perfume before? I mean, a, a nice cologne? Do you have one? Every time you appear before me with this rumpled, dirty, oversized shirt and trousers, asking me to marry you, 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 you some guards. You really have some guards. Yeah, oh, shut the hell up! Shut up! What nonsense! But you listen to me, Jimmy. The next time you step into this office to vomit this nonsense again, you will not like what I would do to you. I hate you with so much passion. Can't you see the haze in my eyes? I love you. I don't hate you. I love you with all my heart. Jimmy. You, you know they see the love for my eye? Thunder fire that you love. Get out. Get, 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 get out! Please don't send me. Get out! You're sending your guy away. Can you hear me? I have been faithful. I have been living my life in fear of you. I have my reasons to quit, but please, can we turn? Can't take Your it no more. Can you hear me? 
Mr. Jimmy, is everything all right? You've been like this since morning. Please, whatever is the problem, just let it go, okay? Remember, you can't solve a problem like this. Please put yourself together and pick your call, okay? God of the poor, where have you been for long? Can you hear me call from my place of pain? God of the universe, where have you been for long? I've been waiting, I've been praying. Can you hear me? I'm in your call. I'm in your call. It's a matter of life and death. I know all these disturbances is because of money. Eh? They're just disturbing me because of money. Nothing else. Big girl, what is it? Brother, I'm not fine. All is nowhere. Brother, it's Papa. Papa. Papa is not fine. What? Papa fell down from the palm tree. Yes. Is he dead now? Brother, is very bad. The doctor said he broke his spinal cord. That is if you don't come and deposit is almost 500,000 naira. He's not going to attend to it. But I've been going to sort that out of my mouth of that. Five, five, 500,000. Hi. Okay, okay, Abigail, I've heard you. Thank you. Just look after him. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. Hi. Mr. Jimmy, what happened? My father fell from the palm tree and broke his spinal cord. What? Oh, so how is he now? They, 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 they said I should deposit 500,000 now before they can commence treatment. Are they crazy like they're insane? What is wrong with the Nigerian hospital? So they want the old man to die? Eh? I hate these things are not done abroad. So, so what are you going to do now? Please just put yourself together. Hey? You can't even travel like this. You don't have money, so how will you go? I have to, I have to rush to the village now. I don't know if people even know what to do. You, you, you and I know that. Miss Stephanie will never give you your salary. It's not even end of the month. I can't even ask the manager to give me because I know we will not agree. You know he got a check of one million naira the other day and you think that because of the check that I'm coming to ask him for money. Please, don't go to Miss Stephanie. She will never even give you audience. I'll trust Stephanie. She's a human being. God I'll try. After poor. Say so. Are you chilling somewhere? Can you feel my pain? Speak. Okay, I got a call from the village that my father fell from the palm tree and got his spine broken. The hospital he was rushed to said so I should deposit the sum of 500,000 naira, half a million, before treatment can commence. Please, I do not want him to die. He's all I've got. Please, help me. So I'm asking if you can give me my salary so I can use it and go take care of my father. Please. I knew it. I knew you must be a son of a wretched Pamwaitapa. 
beg your pardon, Stephanie. Uh, if your father is not a palm wine tapper, what would he be doing on a palm tree? Anyway, we do not pay salaries until when due, which you are aware of. Uh, please. So, we will pay salaries when due. Please, get out of my office. Please, Miss Stephanie, I need to rush down to the village. I need to go and meet the doctor so the treatment can commence at least. You know, Jimmy, if someone had told you that, you would come begging me for upfront payment after spewing rubbish before me. Would you believe? Hey, Miss Stephanie, we are not enemies, are we? We are not. If we are enemies, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have come to you with marriage proposal, asking you to marry me, asking you to be the mother of my unborn kids. Miss Stephanie, I love you. Yes, with all my heart. Please, I, I need to save my father now. I, I know it's not a crime that I've come to ask you to marry me. Shut up! Shut up! Unless I shot it for you. Of course you've committed a big crime. Asking me to marry you. A woman you cannot maintain. How dare you? Can you maintain me? Oh, Miss Stephanie, come on. Do you hate me this long as you desire my father dies? Please. Please. I beg you. I need to rush down to the village. You know I love you. On my heart, Stephanie, please. Listen, 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 listen. That's nothing I can do, all right? There is nothing I can do to just get out. Steph, now you're guy, you. Get out. Jimmy, get out. God of the poor, where have you been for long? Can you hear me call? Good William, stop bad rubbish. From my place of pain, God of the universe, where have you been for long? Jimmy, I've been waiting. Why? Why is your face like that? What did she say to you? She said all sorts of despicable things to me. Called me a wretched son of a wine tapper. She walked me out of her office. It reminded me how wretched I am. But I told you. I told you that going to Stephanie is just a waste of time. Sorry. Now what are you going to do? Why don't you go to Mr. Pedro? Speak to him about this. I have been faithful. I have been living my life in fear of you. I have my reasons to quit, but please. Can we turn? With or without money, I'll still go to the village. No. Please, just speak to Mr. Pedro about this. You going to the village without money, it seems like you're not there. Don't you know the Nigerian hospitals? They will not even look at your face. Please, I beg you. Oh, I'm pleading I'm your mercy. Can't take it. Mr. Jimmy, you look moody. What is the problem? So, I got a very distressed call from my younger sister that my father fell from the palm tree and broke his spinal cord. Oh my goodness! Huh? So it's okay, so let me tell you, I have to start going now. No, hold on, hold on. Do you have any cash there? 
are in our Nigerian hospitals. So I asked uh, Miss Stephanie to please give me some money, but she refused. I mean, some of my salary, but she refused. Okay, um, hold on. God of the poor, where have you been for long? Are you chilling somewhere? Can you feel my pain? God of the universe, where have you been? Mr. Jimmy. This is a check of 200,000 naira. Uh, this will go a long way in sorting the bills of your father. Come, oh, go ahead. Have it for your father's house. Uh, two bills. 200,000 naira. Hi. Thank you so much. May God bless you. May Amen. God bless you. May God bless you. No, no, no. Get up. Get up. Bless you. Don't worry. You need to go right now. Okay. I would relate to Chief whenever he comes back from Abuja. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Pedro. Thank you. Okay. I have been faithful. I have been living my life in fear of you. I have my reasons to quit, but please, can we turn right now? Where is your message? You said he's a nice man. Yes. What happened? He's really a nice man. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. I told you. I just told the manager that my father is being admitted in the hospital. You know, immediately he brought a check and started writing. I, 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 I just told him that. <laughs> oh my God! He just gave me two million. I told you, Mr. Pedro is a nice man. Yes, he is. <gasps> He's a good human being. Oh God, there is no time to waste. Now you have to rush to the village. Okay? It's okay. Thank you know, just. He's not fine at all. Mm. The doctor and nurses have refused touching him until the deposit is paid. They're waiting for you to bring the money. Okay, I'm, I'm here now. Do you have the money? Yes, by God's grace, yes. Um, um, Papa? Come on, show me to the doctor. Papa? Mm. We'll leave the hospital before you know it. Doctor, you baffled me. What are you trying to say? Eh? Why can't you commence treatment to my father with the sum of 200,000 that I've given you already? Um, sir. There's nothing I can do. Doctor, do you want my father to die? Please now. 
Sir, your father's spinal injury will require 1.5 million naira for the surgery. I will just demand it for 500,000 naira. Just have a million just to commence the, the, the surgery. Doctor, if you don't mind, start treatment on my father. Let me go out there, run around for your money. Um, sir, there's nothing I can do now. My hands are tight. Is that a 500,000 naira or nothing? Doctor, please, now, what is this? What's going on now? Eh? Is, is, is this kind of conspiracy your what? Are you a human being at all? You want, you, you want my father to die? Um, I'm not the owner of this hospital. But I'm just a staff here. The management demands that they must be, be deposited before the, the surgery will commence. Doctor, are you sure you're a human being or, or something? Is this is kind of computer conspiracy or, or something. Eh? You want my father to die? Well, um, I, I can't just do it. Hey. I can't just do it. <sighs> Please. Because. Please, no, no, my. Where is your passion? I beg you in the name of God. Anything oh, you know can do to your passion. Come to the kingdom Well, young lady. Um, can I you help me? I wish there's something I can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama, can you imagine? Eh? I don't know why people brought Papa to this hospital. Eh? My son, this is the only hospital around here. There was nothing we could do. Mama, can't you? This, this hospital is not it at all. This is a witchcraft. I, 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 I want to see the doctor. And with the 200,000 naira I came with, I gave the doctor and told them to commence treatment on my, on my father. They refused. What? That the money must be completed. I even told the doctor that, that, that I've called the office and they're coming with 500,000 naira for me. So I'll give to them. They still refused. Eh? Is this a witchcraft or what? Ah. How can they be this heartless? Watching him die helplessly. After I'm depositing such a huge amount of money, I should have at least added something. How? Oh, I cannot listen. If anything should happen to Papa, eh, they will see my color. I am going to sue this, this, this hospital. They will see, they will, they will, Papa, trust me on that. You know what I can do. If anything happens, anyway, let's watch. Can you Hello, Mr. Jimmy. How are you and how is your father? My father is dying. My father is really dying. And they refuse to take the 200,000 I gave to them to start, to start the treatment on my father. But why? You're joking, right? I am not joking. How can I be joking with a serious matter like this? I am not. Okay, do you know what you mean? Please, just put yourself together. I will call you back, okay? Yes, please, I'll call you back. I'm losing my mind. Miss Rosalyn, you shouldn't be doing this. This is an office. I am no god. Please stand up. Sir, sir, please. Mr. Jimmy's father is dying. We need to help him. We need to help him. I thank you. Seriously? Yes. I just got off the phone with Jimmy. His father has been rushed to the hospital since morning, but they refused to attend to him. Yes. Yes, they said that. A deposit of 500,000 has to be made. A big ego deposit. A big ego Oh, oh. Wait. Is Jimmy aware of this before now? Yes, sir. You know Jimmy and his um, shy nature now. He didn't know how to tell you. 
I even I told him to go and speak to you about it. I told him that he needs to tell you that you're a good man, but you don't give it up. He was feeling because of the end he just paid you some money. He doesn't want it to look like he was making up this story, sir, because he has, you need to help Jimmy. I beg you, sir, because... I mean, he didn't tell me anything. The check I gave to him was out of my own magnanimity. Okay, uh, we must not allow the man to die. Yes. I know what to do, just to give me some time. I'll be right back. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. Oh my god. Sign me a check of 500,000 naira immediately. Sorry, sir. I hope all is well. Oh, yes, yes. Please make it snappy. Okay, sir. Thank you. Check of 500,000 Naira. Oh. Please call Mr. Jim immediately to give you directions to his village. Okay, sir. Remember to go with the company's driver. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Thank you. Go, go. <sighs> that man must not die. If he dies, this company will be indebted to a huge debt. I no. Good day, young lady. Um, your daughter Nelson, right? Um, yes. Sit down. And how may I help you? Okay, sir. My name is Rosalie. I'm from Douglas and Douglas's Associates Limited. Okay. I came in respect of Mr. Jimmy's father. Oh. Yeah. So, here is the money you asked for.
Your father's funeral has come and gone. And well, we thank God for a very successful funeral. Uncle, I don't even know how to start thanking you. Thank you so much. Hmm? And also all my late father's kinsmen for all their contributions towards this funeral. They all tried. All of you tried so much. May God continue to bless you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you Amen. so much. I, I really do appreciate it. Uh, thank God. Um, uh, you see, I, I know that uh, my late brother Robert, your father, did not die a hopeless man. He did not. Because uh, he left a son in you. Uh, I want you to realize that the button has just been handed over to you. You are now in charge. So, you have to take good care of your mother and your sister. In other words, like the Bible will say, Son, behold your mother and your sister. They are now under your care and protection. Especially your mother. You are now her husband. You must take good care of her. And make sure she does not keep remembering uh, the death of her husband. Hmm? Yes. Uh, that's your sister, Obiageli. She is now your responsibility. Everything she needs, you have to provide. Because if you don't, the tendency is for her to start jumping up and down, you know, uh, 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 running from one man to the other. Every dick, Tom and Harry, will become good for her. And in the process, she might end up with an unwanted pregnancy. But we say, God forbid. Now, it becomes a very serious problem. Yeah. Because Imen Puke, that is an unwanted pregnancy, is one thing that can truncate her chances of getting married to a very rich and good husband. So we must avoid that by our actions. Hmm? Okay, cool. Yes. We will. And um, uh, uh, one very important thing. I understand you'll be going back to the city to resume work. Yes, yes. Uh, very please, soon. please. Uh, when you get there, show great commitment to your work. Render selfless services to that company. Yes, they are very good people. Especially your MD. He's a very good man. Very, very good man. You can see how, how, how they literally took care of all the burial expenses. Yemdi is a very good man. Hmm. Oh yes. That man is a wonderful man. Eh? Only God will bless him hmm? and replenish all the spend. How they supported us, God will bless each and every one of them. Yes. We don't have anything with which to say thank you to them. Yes. But God alone will thank him for this. Amen. And um, very importantly, Jimmy, I think uh, it is time you start thinking seriously of taking a wife. In fact, I wonder why you've not even thought about it up till now. Eh? Oh, cool. I have that in mind already. I really do have it in mind. But you know, the problem is, uh, my financial status, I'm not so strong financially now to go into that, but I'll do it. 
uh, all you have to do is put your mind to it. Eh? God will provide the means to accomplish that. And of course, He will also give you a very good woman eh? yeah, that will take care of you. And of course, your mother here. Amen. Eh? Amen. Yes. Yeah. God will do it. You're going back to the city today. Our Lord will go with you. Amen, Mama. Amen. Our God will go ahead of you. Amen. He'll grant you journey mercies. Amen. But don't forget to always call home and check on us. Come on. I'll surely do that, Mama. No problem. <sighs> Now to borrow a leaf from your uncle. You are the only son in this family. And you're, now your father is no more. There is need for you to get married. I'm old enough to be a grandmother and have a daughter-in-law. Your father so desired it. But today he's no longer with us. But I want to see my grandchildren before I die. Oh, Mama, I understand what you mean. It's not that I don't want to get married. Yes, I want to get married, okay? But I'll do that very soon. I even wish Papa is alive. At least to carry my children. Mama, you don't cry at me. Yeah, you don't cry at me. It's well. But Mama, you see, I'm, I'm just a messenger in a company where I work. And my salary is not that... Uh... God, I understand. Mama will not even understand what you're saying. <laughs> no lady will want to get married to a man that will not take care of her. Not to talk of getting married to him. <laughs> so, brother, don't worry. Or we'll be fine. Oh, we'll <laughs> I understand everything. The girls of these days, yes, are very materialistic and money conscious. And that's why I've said, allow me to search out a good girl from a good home for you, from this our community. Oh, I don't even go there. I'll get a wife for myself. Mm. Mama, even the village girls want a man that will take care of them. Everybody wants good things for themselves. Mm. So looking for a village wife for him will not help him. Ah. Well, my son. Uh -huh. I have to start going now. Before it gets late. I still pray that it will be well with you. Amen. God will make a way for you. Amen. You will not remain a messenger Amen. for Amen. in that company. Amen. God will lift you up. Amen. Amen. Abigail, see your brother off. Hey, don't, don't worry. Let don't me worry. see No, you off, don't, don't see me off. I know her. I see you off. I know why she wants to see me off. Why? Is it wrong? You're asking me why. Why? I see if you don't know. Let me see you off. I see you off. You're 200 or 500. You don't see me off. I don't even know how to now. But I'm a hoster. I think I'm going to I just want to love somebody oh, and pray to someone and love me back. I just want to be <laughs> the best I can. I want to live a life of crime. What is my cry? This is my life. My yeah, yeah. I, I need a financial statement. Yes, uh, you know the tax people, they will need all that. You also need to uh, ask the bank to give us uh, our bank statement. Yes. But yes, for for last year. Mm -hmm. So that we can uh, prepare our our tax clearance. Yes, it's, it's very necessary. It's all right. Okay. Let me have it. Maybe within a week. I will Jimmy. Good day, sir. You're here? Yes, sir. Please sit down. Sit down. Okay. Thank you, sir. So, how are your mother and sister? They're all fine. They send their regards. Ah, that is good to hear. Yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm so happy that um, 
you are back to work after all the hustling and bustling <laughs> of your preparation for your father's funeral. Thank you, sir. So that's why I've come to say thank you so much for what you did for me towards my father's funeral and to all the staffs of uh, Douglas and Douglas Associate. So I thank you for all the financial support you gave me towards my father's funeral. God will continue to bless you, sir. I really do appreciate. Thank you so much. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. I mean, why are you saying this? That is why we are one big family. You know, we support ourselves. Uh, besides, you are a very hardworking staff, and there is no way we're going to support you. Okay? Yes, sir. So don't bother yourself. Sir, I don't even know what this world would have been without you around. You are like a father to me. I owe you my life. Yes, mm -hmm. I am very serious, sir. Thank you so much. It's all right. It's all right. Sir, please, I I got this for you. Ah, to say thank you. Jimmy. You should have bothered. Eh? Anyway, I will not say that. I will take this drink. I will take it all. And I'm going to drink it with my wife. Yes, I'm, I'm happy you've accepted it. Yes. <laughs> it's alright. Okay. My regards to your wife. She will hear that. Okay. So thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. It's alright. Yeah. I have okay. to go back to work now. I just wanna be the best I can. I don't wanna live a life of crime. What is my crime? Sweet up. Yeah. Very sweet <laughs> You know what I like about this drink? It has some small, small seeds, you know, the juice inside. I mean, Liv, you like mm -hmm. sweet, sweet things, so forget <laughs> it. I understand. No, it makes you feel you are taking the real natural fruit. Hmm? Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Yes, so. Sunny, you told me Jimmy came by the office today. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. Um, actually, he came with a bottle of wine to appreciate the company for the role it played. When I say it, I mean the reps played during um, the late father's funeral. You know. Yeah, he was so happy that we were able to identify with him. Mm. Wow, mm. that's so thoughtful of him. Wow. You know, I've never seen a young, nice guy as diligent as Jimmy. He's so diligent in his job. Very diligent. Mm. And you remember, you told me he's a first class product. Uh, oh yes, I did. Just thinking, as a first class product, don't you think he deserves something bigger and better in the office? Mm. Something like what? Mm. First class degree in business administration. He just deserves something bigger and better. I don't know. You're in a better position to know what he deserves. Well, um, you're right, sweetheart. You're right. Uh, but, you know, the first time he came to the office mm -hmm. seeking for this job, um, I wasn't really willing to offer him that job. Because the only job available then was this one, which is the office messenger position. But the young man was so desperate. You know, he needed the job like air, so... I had no option but to give it to him. I understand, I understand. The thing that his father had to die out of financial bankruptcy, and it really beats my imagination. I feel so bad about it. Well, you're right. Uh, but that is in the past now. I mean, we have to leave the past for the past. Hmm? Let's look at the future 
and see what it has in stock for us. Don't you think so? I feel for his aged mother. At the funeral, she looked... Ah! Poverty and penury was written all over that family. Didn't you notice? Well, like I said, it's all in the past now. Hmm? The past? What do you mean? <laughs> Uh, coincidentally, I made up my mind to place his aged mother on a monthly salary, monthly wow. allowance, so to say. Hmm. That's my <laughs> husband. You're so kind. What can I do? So loving. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear this, okay? Mm. I'll pick it up from there. I don't understand. Okay. Abigail, Jimmy's younger sister. Uh-huh. I'm thinking of employing her as my PA. Mm. You know, she's beautiful and elegant. And I think she'll be brilliant too. Don't you think so? Are you sure about this? I think I am. Yes, I'm sure. Well, if you say so. I say so. Well, let me enjoy my drink. Enjoy yourself, my darling husband. I was reading my newspaper before you came. Okay, so I'll have to help you with this. I know your trick. You want to drink it? Ah, oh, sorry you. Eh? you know Enjoy. This is for me. Jimmy, good morning. Good morning, you're welcome. Thank you. You are late at work today. Oh yes, I went to Afi's investment to submit some proposal. As I... early as 7 o'clock. I thought as much. Jimmy. Yeah? What's that look? What look? Don't give me that. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Come on. Jimmy, you know I've known you too, too well. Yes, so I know when you are tit again. So tell me, what is eating you up? Nothing, I'm fine, all. Jimmy, you know I'm more like a sister to you. And you can always confide in me. What is the problem? Like I said before, there's no problem. I'll be okay. <laughs> You've been suckling, you know, eating up yourself lately. Something has been bothering you and you don't want to speak to me about it. <sighs> okay. You see, in this company, everyone knows quite well that my father died. Not only that, only Miss Steph did not attend the funeral. And up till now, she has not come to say sorry to me. You don't mean it. But it's okay. But why? What did you do to her? I did nothing to her. But she kept reminding me how she despises me. Are you sure you didn't do anything? Nothing. Nothing. I think she hates me so much because I am poor. That's trash. I'm telling the truth. My poor nature is, is, is getting her crazy. She doesn't even want me around her. <laughs> She's insane. I'm sorry to say that. Maybe I feel her conscience is pricking her. Yes, and she doesn't even know how to come and say, Oh, sorry, please accept my sincere condolence. You know? But then again, a man's worth is not being measured by how much you have. No! Your personality, what you stand for, that is all that matters. And your humble character is the reason everybody likes you in this company. Come on, take a look at you. Jimmy, 
You're handsome. You're every woman's dream. Why must a step keep reminding me of my bongo trouser and my shopping cushion? Why? That is who she is. So do you expect more? Anyway, 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 um, thank you so much for being a sister. I really do appreciate. I mean, if not for all these wonderful words from you and consoling me, I don't know what I would have done. So thank you so much. Jamie, it's okay. You're my brother, okay? So cheer up. Very soon, God in heaven will open your chapter and you will smile again. No. Don't worry, your set time is now. Okay? <laughs> oh. oh, done. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy. I have been Mr. Jimmy, <laughs> I can see you have butterflies in your belly from your facial expression and your countenance, you know, it's been all sweet. Um, the secret is this book, I know, it's very interesting and very educative. Yeah, the author has took time to explain the intricacies of marriage and also she teaches the happiness in marriage also. Oh, so... You can take a look. <clears throat> oh, tell me more. So why do you keep reading this book over and over again? Over and over again I give my life, over and over again I give my soul. Over and over again I belong to you. Oh, you wouldn't understand. So, does it mean you want to know the details of marriage before you say, yes, I do? You see, I have other books here, all taught by the same authors. Yes, um, I'll show you. Your mouth, your life. I'll wake the giant in me. She must be a professional. You mean the authoress? Yeah, she's a woman, right? Okay. Oh. Hello, sir. All right, sir. Jimmy, please, I'll be right back. <laughs> of course, I will give you a card now. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Good show. Excuse me, sir. You sent for me. Uh, Rosalind. Sir. I did. The proposal that you typed, there are some syntax and typo errors. Mm -hmm. So I've edited it. So just incorporate my comments. Huh? All right, sir. Make sure you get it well this time. Yeah. Sure, sir. Uh, I'll need it in about 10 minutes. Okay? Okay, sir. Consider it done. Uh, Rosalind? Sir? Please get uh, Jimmy for me. All right, sir. Mr. Jimmy, mm -hmm. you are this your book. You're yeah. still reading. Yeah, I'm still reading. Oh, I love this so much. So much. I can say, please uh, drop the book and go and answer the ending. You sent for me? Yes. The director said you should come to his office. It's very important. Okay. Very, very important. <laughs>
Jimmy? Chief? How are you? I'm fine. Good. Uh, meet the manager. Okay. He's going to give you a proposal. Okay. Uh, you will submit it to Banex Communications Limited. Okay, sir. Right. Um, at this time of the day, I suppose the traffic at Zix Avenue will be very heavy. Yes, you're right, sir. Good. So I suggest you don't go with the company's car. All right? Pick a bike. Okay, sir. Okay. I'll be on my way now. Right. Um, meet the accountant on your way out and uh, get a uh, transport fare. Okay? Okay, okay sir. Good. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Um, you can go. Miss Rosalind. Yes, Miss Jimmy. I'm going to Banners International Limited to deliver a proposal. Oh, okay, that's good. But hope you're not going with the company's driver because of traffic. No, the N MD asked me to take a bike. Better. I was about to tell you that because you know that Azikiwe's road is always blocked. Except you want to be at the traffic jam all day. No, no. Okay. Let me run along. Hmm? <laughs> we'll continue from where we stopped. When I'm of back. course. <laughs> Take care of yourself, all right? Okay. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. This is my life, my life, my life, my life. This is my life, my life, my life, my life. I just want to be free. I just want to be free from all the trouble. The MD said I should come ask you for transport fare. To what for? Sorry. You heard me. What's the tea fare for? I need to go to Banners Communication to deliver this proposal. Miss Stephanie, this is 500 naira and it's not be enough for me. I need to take a drop. You need to take a drop? Yes. A messenger. You are supposed to be the company's messenger. What are you taking a drop for? What goes to public transportation? Huh? Miss Stephanie, yes, I am the company's messenger. I'm not denying the fact, but you don't need to remind me all the time. It's not necessary, okay? I'm asked to come and meet you for transport fare, and that's all. I just want to be the best I can. I don't want to live a life of crime. What is my crime? This is my life, my life, my life, my life. This is my love, my life, my life, my life. I just want to be free. This is my love, my life, my life, my life. I just want to be free. I just want to be free from all the troubles, pain and sorrows. I just want to be free. What is my crime? Oh, what have I done wrong? Oh, I just wanna love somebody and pray that someone loves me back. I just wanna be the best I can. I don't wanna live a life of crime. What is my crime? This is my life, my life, my life, my life. This is my love, my life, my life, my life. I just want to be free. Let me be free. What have I done wrong?
pretty Stephanie Menkila. What is my crime? What is my crime? This is my life. Stephanie, how are you? What, what is this? Hey. Chief. What are you trying to do? Chief, I've come to give you myself. Take me. I'm all yours. Wait, wait, wait. Are you okay? Come on. Huh? Chief. Of course I'm good. Hmm? Stephanie, do you realize this is an office? And someone might badge in on us? Oh, Chief. Don't worry. Let's just have a quickie. Moreover, the messenger has gone to ban his company. And I'm pretty sure he will not be back anytime soon. He's the only one who can enter your office unceremoniously. So in the meantime, let's have fun. Please stop, stop! Stop! What, what, what is it? Are you, are you okay? Are you normal? What is this? You mean you want to seduce Chief Douglas in his own office? Eh? You want to get me pants down with you? Chief, I love you. Give it to me quickie. I'll just bend over. Now I know you are sick. Now I know you are not. Now get out of my office. Get out of my office before I fire you. Idiot! What is this? I'm sorry, Chief. He hasn't gotten to that. I just want to love somebody. I'm afraid of someone and loves me back. I just want to be the best I can. I don't want to live a life of crime. Just imagine that. What is my crime? This is my life, huh. my life, my life. Hey. Hi, Mr. Jimmy. You came back on time. Yeah, I took a bike. Yeah, how was it? Is there traffic? I took a bike. Oh, better. But there was so much traffic on that Sazikiwe road. So much. I can imagine. Ah. You know, sometimes I used to wonder what's really causing that traffic on that particular road. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. So how are you? I'm very well. <laughs> Good to have you back. You know, I was telling you before that I'm going to borrow your books okay. so I can go through it when I get home. Don't worry, I have them already. <laughs> you know, I'll gladly give it to you. Right. Without you asking. <laughs> Thank you. So... Excuse me. You'll be amazed in some right top in that two books. Really? You'll be so amazed. <laughs> I'm going to still give you this one when I'm done reading. Okay, I can't wait to read it. But then again, I wanted to ask you, when will you get tired of reading this book? Because the last time I checked, you have been reading this book. You've read it more than 10 times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I know you want to know the details of marriage and relationship, but when are you going to stop? Yeah, you can say that again. But you know, this book is really, really, really good. The author teaches a lot of things about how to stay happy in marriage. I mean, is it this title, Staying Happy Even While Married? I mean, it's... it's is, is a wonderful title and the content in this book can change everything about you. Wow. Yeah. I'm very much interested. I'll still give it to you when I'm <laughs> done reading. That's good. But there's another thing I have been meaning to ask. <laughs> okay. Jimmy, mm -hmm. what happened or 
I don't know who is responsible because lately you've been all sweet. Like everything about you, your countenance and all has been all sweet. You've been so happy, especially today. I decided to be a happy man. Yeah, there's a passage in this book that I came across where the author wrote something very interesting. And that passage, it says, happiness is a choice. Wow. So, I decide to be happy. Wow. <laughs> That's so sweet. You see, exactly what I've been telling you. Happiness is a choice. I have been faithful. I have been living my life in fear of you. I have my reasons to quit, but please can we turn right now? Where is your message? Oh, I'm pleading. Done. Jimmy. Jimmy. We're late to the bank. Come here. What's going on with you? I said be fast. Come on, see man. When will your imbecility stop? Like when? Excuse me? Did you see my phones? Did you not see my phones on my table? Huh? Wait, don't you know your job? You're supposed to be the company's messenger. Run along again, my phones. God of the poor. Where have you been for long? Are you chilling somewhere? Can you feel my pain? God of the universe Where have you been for long? I have waited I have prayed Mr. Jimmy. How are you? I'm okay. Please, I just want to beg you something. Do not allow Miss Stephanie's animosity towards you bother you. What are you talking about? I don't understand. <sighs> Mr. Uche told me everything she said to you. Come on. She knew her phone was inside her bag, yet she was just looking for a way to maliciously unleash her venom on you. You see, the truth now is that um, Miss Stephanie is just the least of my worries now. Are you sure about that? I'm sure. I hope you're not bothered anymore. See, it's a free world, okay? We have freedom of speech. Anyone can go ahead and, 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 and say anything. It's none of my business. Okay? Don't worry. Very soon, 
everything will fade away. Okay? This is my life, my life, my life, my life. This is my life, my life, my life, my life. I just wanna be free. I just wanna be free from all the troubles, pain and sorrows. I just wanna be free. What is my crime? Hello, sir. Yeah, I'm good, sir. Okay. I should start coming now. Okay, I'll be on my way now, sir. I'll be on my way. Okay, sir, I'm coming. I hope you all is well. What have I done wrong? Chief, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Jimmy. You're welcome, Jimmy. How are you? I'm fine. How have you been? I'm very fine, Ma. I'm okay. That's good. It appears uh, you're just returning from church service. Yes, sir. I just came out from the church. I was heading home when you called. Yeah. It's good you came. <laughs> Sorry for the inconvenience. It's okay, sir. Honey. <laughs> Jimmy? Sir. How is your mother? Sir, so she's fine the last time I spoke with her. Yeah, the last time you spoke with her? And don't you call her? I, I called her. You call her? Okay. okay. You spoke with her, so yeah. it's the same thing as calling. Okay. My bad. Uh, Jimmy. Sir. My wife and I have been discussing, you know. We have personal relationship outside the company one because of your nature and we feel that we should be able to do something to assist your family you know so, uh, consequently we both agreed to uh, place your mother on a monthly allowance you know just a little stipend you know to assist her and you of course okay okay sir Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. So thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Ma, please help me and thank Chief. He just told me something now. I also you. I, I thank you so much. You're welcome, Jimmy. It's the least you can do to help. <laughs> Um, Jimmy, Ma. what qualification does your sister Abigail have? Ma, she has OND. Okay. Yeah. OND in? Mass communication. Wow, that's good. That's good. Okay, I've decided for she to go back to school for her HND. And I will take up the responsibilities for that. Uh, okay, Ma. And while she's schooling, I would like to... Employ as my personal assistant. That's if you don't mind. Another one? Yes. Hey. <laughs> okay, it's okay, ma. It's okay, ma. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no yeah. problem. Uh, the, the truth of the matter is that uh, my wife told me about it and uh, I felt yeah. uh, it's necessary for us to seek your consent first. You understand? Uh -huh. Sir. You really have my consent. Oh, really? Yes, you don't need to ask for it. It's okay. As for the allowance, uh, I'm giving you the first month or straight away. So this is fifty thousand. Uh, it's for your mom. So every month we'll be doing that. And um, your sister Abigail, we know she will need one or two things. Yeah, before she comes to the city, so this another fifty thousand for her to take up that buy a few things mm. before coming. Yeah. So thank you, thank you, you so right. much, please. thank you. I appreciate it. It's sir. okay, please. May God bless you. Thank you, thank you, ma. Thank you all. Sit ah. down, Jimmy. Hey, uh, you see, in this life, um, 
the least we can do is to help those that are close to us. And you've been, you know, you are more or less our family member. Yeah. You know? <laughs> the way you make us laugh, you know, the way you make everybody in the company happy. And very diligent. Yes, yes, you know. thank you. All right? So I'm happy that you are happy. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. All right. And I'm happy too. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We are glad you're happy, Jimmy. Yeah. So, um, we we acknowledge the fact that uh, you are more or less a family member, eh? one of the Douglases. Mm -hmm. So, Jimmy, drink up while you listen. Uh, when I have this, I'm even full self. I don't even want to take any other thing. Okay, <laughs> right. that's okay. Right. So, Fine. so the least we can do is to assist you, you know, and your family, so that you be more comfortable. You know, that way you will even work more, right? Thank you, sir. May God bless you. Thank you, ma'am. God of the poor, where have you been for long? Hey, brother. Are you feeling somewhere? Can you well, you are fine. How are you? Good afternoon. Mommy, I'm fine. How are you doing? This one, your sound is so excited. What's going on? I can't hear you. What is it? Me? <laughs> Brother, we're going back to school. How? Mama is fine. She's here. I should give her the phone. Okay, okay. Brother, Jeremiah, my son. How? Good news. Oh, thank God for them. Oh, your sister will go back to school. Hey. Me. Monthly allowance. 50,000. <laughs> for doing what? You mean every month? They will give me 50,000. Hey! For doing what? Hell! God, thank you. Hey. Eh? Jeremiah, eh? Bura Bekene. Just carry loads and loads of thanks eh, and give to them. Amen. Eh? Hey! Nigga, salary Emma. Ah! How? Father, thank you. Amen. Thank you. Okay, you're coming. Okay. To give us the money, the yeah, we'll be expecting you. Oh, we are expecting you. Hey! Hello? Hello? Mama, mama, give me. Hello, brother. Brother. My phone has got. Hey! Mama! Come on. What mama. did I do to deserve this? Hey. Father, thank you. Amen. Salary, Emma. You. Mm -hmm. Mama, I'm happy for you. Hey. 50,000 naira for you. Hey. 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 Thank you. Father, thank you. Mama, do you know that? I've been waiting. I've been praying. Can you, you alone? Me, personal hey. sister. I have been wishing. I have been praying. And I will also go back to the city. Hey. And finish my HND. Mama, it's got no wonderful. Hey! It's too much. I'll be go. I'll be go. Mama. Oh, one regret. That your father is not here to witness all this with us. Hi, Mama, you too for me. I want to spoil this good news. No. I have been living my life in ah. fear of you. It's not as if I'm not happy. It's just that you will live for the city and I'll be the only one left in this village. Mama, mm -hmm. you have been the one always in the village where I go to school. What is the difference? I know. Just that I also want to be a city woman. And you also be a city woman. Very soon. Are you sure? Okay, let me tell you. Brother Jimmy confided in me and told me he's also going to move you to the city very soon. Oh. Yes. 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 Abigail, so you see, you're not the only one going to the city. Yeah. I will join too. And so you're also going to be a city woman. Yes, so there's no need for you to be sad. I'm going. 
I'm so happy. Hey, I'm Kimo. happy. I'm happy right there. Hey, but okay, Mama, wait. Mm -hmm. Now when you get to the city now, you say, I want to go back to the village. I want to go and take care of my farmland, my fowls, my goats, my okoko, okay, chicken, okay, this. Stay, oh. Stay. Stay. No fowl this time. But you know all these things you've mentioned. They are very necessary, aren't they? So one way or the other, I'll take care of them and still be the city woman. So you're going to be a city woman very soon. And I will be a personal assistant to the honorable. Can you believe how things are turning around for us? I can't Hi. wait. Hi, Mama. Hey! There's virtue in patience, honestly. Eh? Nganga. I'm fine, baby. How are you? I'm okay. How about your kids? Ah, they're fine. <laughs> See, your shop is really booming. Ah, wow. it's good, though. Chain it! Please, make sure you make that hair well, okay? Uh. You can say that again. This is God at work. It's God. <laughs> oh, I love your hair. My hair? Uh, yes. yes. My sister. <laughs> Let's be managing now. What can one do? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. At least I'll come so that you will just help me uh, with all my hair. It's okay. Let's see. Please, one minute. <laughs> Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Good day. I'm okay. I'm fine. And you? Are uh, you sound so excited? What's going on? <laughs> I should guess. Mm. No, no. You know I don't know how to guess. Just tell me. Just say it. <laughs> what? What did you just say? You don't mean it. You mean Chief Douglas promised to be paying your aged mother 15,000 Naira every month? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are you serious? Oh my God. This is so good. Yes. What? Your sister? You mean Abigail is going back to school? Oh my God. Oh my God. You don't mean it. I told you. I told you there is nothing God cannot do. I told you that you should believe in him. That one with God is majority. I told you, right? Now you can see it. There is no way God will forsake or forget his own people. Never. Oh my God, Jimmy. I'm so, so happy for you. See, we need to celebrate. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy for you. Yes, I came to see my friend Debbie. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll celebrate. Oh my god! <laughs> ah, oh my god! You can't believe it. What is it? It's my friend Jimmy. Do you know that our MD promised to be paying the aged mother 50,000 naira? <gasps> wow! I'm telling you, even the sister is going back to school. Oh my God! That's a good news. God will bless them. This is my life, my life, my life, my life. This is my life, my life, my life, my life. I just wanna be free. I just wanna be free from all the troubles, pain and sorrows. I just wanna be free. What is my crime? Oh, what have I done wrong? Oh, I just wanna love somebody and pray that someone loves me back. I just wanna be the best I can. I don't wanna live a life of crime. What is my crime? This is my life, my life, my life, my life. This is my love, my life, my life, my life. I just want to be free. Let me be free. 
What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? Is it a crime to be real? Is it a crime to be truthful? Is it a crime to be poor? Am I the one responsible? Oh, oh, oh. What is my crime? What is my crime? This is my life, my life, my life, my life. My life, my life, my life. I just want to be free. Let me be free from pain and sorrows. From pain and sorrows. Let me be. Mr. Jimmy. Hmm? Is everything alright? Yes, I am fine. I don't know. You've been, you know, holding your jaws and thinking all day. I was just worried because you've been quiet. Yeah. I just wanna love somebody and pray that someone loves me back. I just wanna be the best I can. I don't wanna live a life of crime. What is my crime? This is my life, my life, my life, my life. Oh, this is good. Um, take this, give it to Pedro, let him sign his portion, then tell him to submit it to the company's lawyer, okay? Okay, Chief. Alright, that will be all for now, but you should be on standby, okay? I will send for you as soon as um, Rosalind finishes typing the proposal, alright? Alright, sir. Good. to notice me this often. So, I've come to you again. Stephanie. Yes, Jesus. Why are you this daft? Huh? Can't you see that I am happily married? <laughs> what is this? I mean, this thing you are asking for. It's practically impossible. Okay? Are you sure? Because... Most of you married men still have side chicks. So... Are you sure you are happily married? Don't worry. I want to be your baby mama. Let me give you children that your wife has failed to give you. Hmm? Are you okay? Feel my boobs, Chief. They're 
all yours. Just allow me. Stop! What is it? Stephanie. Yes, Chi. Get out. Take you to cloud nine. Give you some young blood where you would shout and shout and shout for me not to stop. Come on. I am a rough rider. If I handle you, You'll be stunned. Leave my office. Feel me, Chief. Leave my office now! What is this? I said leave! I said leave! to our humble abode. Thank you, ma. Thank you, daddy. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, sweetheart, yes. I have to go upstairs now, okay? Take Abigail to her room. Hmm? Abigail. Daddy. Just feel at home, okay? I have been faithful. Please, can we turn right now? Where is she? Uh, Ma Mama. Oh, I'm pleading your message. Can't take it no more. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hey, my 
my room. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is beautiful. You like it, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, sleep in. Hey. Thank you, ma'am. I'm glad you like it. I do, ma'am. Thank you. So, I'll just let you to change it to something casual and leave me downstairs in the kitchen. That's your wish. My wish. I'm coming. Thank you, ma. Thank you so much. Hey, mommy. Mommy, please, I want to tell you something. Mommy, I want to say thank you so much. Thank you so much for all you have done for my family. It's okay. You and daddy. It's okay. May God bless you. I'm blessing you. In Jesus' name, Amen. I have prayed. Thank you, ma. Change, I'm waiting. Okay, ma. I'm coming. I wish Papa was alive to witness all this. Papa had to die because of poverty. Jello fries for my mother. Oh. So today, I'll be the one preparing jello fries for you. Wow. You will? Yes, mommy. Thank you. Thank you, mommy. Thank you. So, you know, you have traveled for a long journey. Mm -hmm. So, all you have to do is go upstairs, go and rest your bones wow. while I go into the kitchen and prepare wow. something nice. Sweet jello fries. Okay, Jack. You know, this is the name. You will like it. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's good. Thank you, okay, mommy. I'll be upstairs. Okay. I'm coming, no. Don't sleep, no. I'm coming. Let me have a bed. Thank you. Come, mommy. Sure. It's like this thing has broken. Really? Uh -huh. How many months? Please, sir. I don't have 15,000 to give you to fix nails. I'm huh? a billionaire's wife. <laughs> Even if the nail spoils, I just don't spoil, you will still give me the nail. I believe it. You, you have, have a color. Okay. If you say so. So now, how do I pull this thing? Mm. Yeah. As if she knew I was so far down. She? Who? Abigail. What about her? She actually asked me to go and rest while she prepares the meal. Abigail is your PA, not your cook. Hmm? You should need your father to help. I don't have any ulterior motive. Hmm. On several occasions, I told you to employ a cook, but you said no. I am not complaining, am I? No complaining. You're not complaining, but I insist that you need a cook in this house. Abigail is here now. She will help out. Look, there is something you don't understand. And you are not making any effort to understand me. Abigail is in this house for two reasons. One, to work for you as your PA. Thank you. Secondly, to further her education. Therefore, I don't want any distractions at all. And 
I don't want you to use, you know, style, trickishness, or whatever to convert her to your house help. Okay? I mean, she's just a nice girl. She's just trying to be nice. Ah, whatever. You know, at times, Anna, when I think about our childlessness, it really hurts me. Oh, honey, don't start. Don't start. Oh, I need a child I can call mine. Just imagine the whole world we've acquired for ourselves. We don't have a child we can call ours. Let me ask you this. Am I not worth more than ten children to you? Me, you're my husband and not my child. I need a child. Eh, but since they are not forthcoming, do you have to kill yourself? Huh? See that at times, the way you show less concern about our childlessness, it really hurts me. You don't show any form of concern at all. Really? Like you don't care. Like seriously? Yes, honey, yes. And you know it's true. Ha, come on. How can you talk like this? Huh? Is it because I am not talking about it all the time? Do you know how many times I lie on this bed without sleeping because of this issue? Do you know? Look, I've told you. Let us go for adoption. Since we've tried several IVF attempts and they all failed. Let's go for adoption, my dear. Honey, please don't go there. Please. Just don't go there, please. Don't go there. Okay. Sorry. Honey. Please. Let's try one more IVF. Could be successful this time around. Please. Honey, you're not saying anything. I want to be left alone. I have been faithful. I have been living my life in fear of you. I have my reasons to quit, but please, can we turn right now? What for? I want to go and eat my own food in my room. Madam, come and dish some food for yourself and sit down. Eh, mommy? Come and dish some food and sit with us. Come, come. Join us, okay? Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mom. Such a great cook. And I can cook very well too. I guess your mom taught you how to cook, right? Mm mm. It's not my mother. My brother, brother Jimmy taught me how to cook. Hmm? Mm. Jimmy. How come it's Jimmy that uh, taught you how to cook uh, and not your mother? My mother gave birth to Bella children 10 years after she got married. And gave birth to me 10 years after she gave birth to Bella children. So. Abigail. Yes, Daddy. What is the authenticity of this story? Very, very authentic. My mother is alive. You can confirm from her. Don't used to lie. Wow. Hmm. What's your story? What do you think about this? My mother is a businesswoman. She, there's one fish, they used to call Mangala fish. They used to sell in the village. My mother would carry it and go and sell. So she hardly stays at home. It's me and Brother Jimmy that used to stay in the house. So that time, Brother Jimmy would cook and give me our eat. 
Yeah, we, I was learning from him until when he now left university. I started cooking myself. That's why I don't talk to people. Can trust him? Trust him? And what do you think about what she just said? Well, um, I guess we have to invite Jimmy here, ask him to cook for us. Then we can prove the authenticity of what she's saying. Because as the saying goes, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. I think I agree with you. Um, that would be very nice. Uh, if my brother cook for you, you really can't. Abigail! Mom, stop it. This is my life, my life, my life, my life. This is my love, my Why life, is my life, my course? life. I just want to be free. Don't tell me you are going to be free. Let me be free. Drink it. Uh, hello, brother. Brother, how are you? I'm fine, no. I've been calling you since after you've not been picking your calls. Okay, oh, how is work? Hope you're fine. I'm fine, no. I'm just there. Um, Mama? Mama is fine. She's doing very well. She's okay. What is my Brother, you know my man, she wasn't happy I was leaving for the city. She cried and cried and cried. Yes, yeah, so she was not so happy. That was how she cried the other time you were leaving for the city too. Anyway, I don't blame her. You know she'll be left alone. Now she doesn't have any husband. <laughs> but if you bring Mama to the city, she will be the one shouting, I want to go back to the village. I want to go back and take care of my gold, my fowl, my, my uh, farmland, everything. Brother, oh, I'm telling you. Okay, brother. Okay. Hey, brother, I want to tell you something. Please, yes, brother. Please let me thank Chief and his wife. They came to the house today. They bought wrapper, cartons of Indomie, rice, and everything nice for Mama. Mama, you don't know Mama. Mama danced and danced and danced. She was so happy. She thanked them so much. Brother, I was happy. Yes, brother. And they also give mama some money too. Yes. But I thank them for me. They have done so well. I don't know what we have done with that chief and his wife. We are so grateful. God bless them for me. Bless them, brother. Yes, brother. Ah, brother. They want me, oh. Empty has warned me. Okay. Okay. Good night. We'll talk some other time. Bye. Hey. Smell that gym. Like gist. Like some is gist. What is my crime? Abigail. Yes, mommy. What's up? What are you doing inside? The phone is ringing. Okay. Good morning, honorable. I'm definitely coming for the rally. As a matter of fact, I'm on my way already. I should be there in Egypt. Yes. I hope other party members are there too. No, no, no. Honorable, don't go there. This rally was scheduled for 9 a.m. and 9 a.m. it will be. Yes. I'll be there soon. Oh.
I'm spreading my tentacles. So what do you want to do now? I'm afraid we have to drive down to the office. Okay. We'll wait until we hear from Mr. Richard. Then we'll know whether to go for the campaign or not. Are we gonna die? Yes, brother. Okay, come here. Door is open. Ah, hey. Roger me. Hey. I've been knocking since. So you'll be here, you'll be sleeping. I came back from church after eating. I slept off. Uh, what's going on? Nothing. I came visiting today. So you're this beautiful. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, look at my sister. So you, <laughs> Should I stand up? So you're fine like this. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. What's that one? Eh? Yeah. I'm not my village girl. Eh? Yeah. Hey, 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 grandkids. You know how you're looking like? How am I? You're looking like one, this old teacher. Which teacher? Old teacher, the old day. <laughs> <laughs> you, look, you look good, Sharp. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. So, did you cook? I miss eating your meal. Wait, what is this? What is it? <clears throat> Are you here to mock me or what? How? Hmm? How? You came to your brother's house instead of you to enter the kitchen and I'll cook something for me. You're asking me, did you cook? Brother, I missed you. Even if I eat all the best meal in this world, see that your food is cooked for me. <laughs> I want to eat your food though. So is there something nice in the kitchen? I, I know. don't cook anything. Uh -huh. I don't cook anything. If you really want to cook for me, not asking me how did you cook. I'm hungry. You're hungry? Mm hmm Okay. Okay, go to the kitchen and help yourself. I know, <laughs> I know, I know. You're the best brother. <laughs> hey, wait, okay. let's not forget. I had a dream. I had a dream. I don't really 
understand that dream. You had a dream? Yes. Tell me about you. What's, what's up with you? What I'm even telling you is because I know you can interpret some stuff like that. So what happened? What's it all about? Tell me the dream. Okay, in that dream. Hmm. So what do you think about the dream? Brother, dreams are revelations. God has revealed who your true wife is in that dream. Uh, how? How? You said in your dream you got married to this particular lady you used to know. Yes, this other lady. I don't really have anything to do with her. She's just a friend. Yes, she's just a friend. But I'm head over heels in love with another. Okay, but yes, it's this... I, 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 I want to marry her. I love her. What is Clara right now? This particular lady you love, she is not the same lady you saw in your dreams. Exactly my point. The question is, this particular lady you love, is she responding to you? I don't understand. So this particular lady, have you made the intentions towards her? On several occasions. And what was her response? I don't know. You know, she... She keep turning down my proposal. You see, she doesn't love you. You are the one that wants to get married to her. And she doesn't want to get married to you. I love her. I love her. And she doesn't love you. All right, fine. Brother Jimmy, what do you love about this lady? Huh. You want to go there? Man. Man. This lady is beautiful. If you see her color, black beauty, her curves, her charisma, her intonation, the way she carry herself, though she's very rude, but you know, those things are the things I love. I don't know. You see, you don't love her. You don't. Again, I love her. No, brother, you don't love her. I love her. You only love her because she's beautiful. Her charisma. She has scarves. She has. Brother Jimmy, do you know that beauty is in the eyes of the beholder? Because you don't love the slave. You only love her because of how she looks. How will you feel if you get married tomorrow and divorce next tomorrow? Would that be nice? You only love the things you see about her. I'm one way again. What are you trying to talk? Gradually, what I'm trying to say is that you don't love this lady. The person you love or who you're going to get married to is who God revealed to you in your dreams. What? Yes. That is it. Fine now. Well, as you said, I want to go and dish my food in the kitchen. So, think about it. I'm off. Come on, you won't understand. I love this girl. You know, love here is the best you never done. Love here. Um, please, I want to ask you something, you know. You know, a friend of mine had a dream and he asked me to help him interpret it. For real? Uh, you know, this guy in particular has a girlfriend and he really, really, really loves that girl so much that he loves everything about the girl, even the sun she matches on. <laughs> for real? Yes, for real. But this particular girl is not even looking his way. You know, he's not even... This girl doesn't send this guy at all. Then this guy had a dream where he wedded another person, a friend 
from the church. <laughs> Mr. Jimmy, don't you think the dream explains it all? Or you don't think so? Uh, yeah. You know, I interpreted my own version for my friend, but he's not just okay with my own interpretation. So he asked me to help him as another person to see if oh okay i see okay now listen god uses our dream to reveal a lot of things to us yes you know it makes it so easy for us to understand what should be and what is gonna be that is why no man or woman should ever take his or her dreams for a joke. God doesn't want your friend to make a mistake. That was why he showed him the dream. So, um, Miss Rosalie, is that your own interpretation? Yes. Or what is your own interpretation? I don't know. No, I think they are the same. Exactly the same thing I told the guy, but you know, he's not just comfortable with my own interpretation. That's why I'm asking you, you know. <laughs> yes. I understand. The girl in his dream is his real wife. And the other girl he loves, that's not his wife. So you just have to tell him so he doesn't make a mistake. Because God is not a liar and he will never lie. Okay? <laughs> so, Mr. Jimmy, I believe I've already explained the dream to you. Is that okay? Oh yes, thank you so much for your own interpretation. It's alright. I'm sorry for interrupting you. It's alright. <laughs> Those... Oh sir, you sent for us. Uh, yes, I did. But I have to see the MD first. Oh, okay. Yeah, so how are you? I'm good. Pretty good. And you, Rosalind? I'm very fine, sir. You look good. Both of you. <laughs> you look good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll see you. Okay. Alright. <laughs> ah, good day, Chief. Ah, Pedro. How are you? I'm fine, Chief. Good to see you. You're looking so excited. <laughs> what is it all about? Ah, Chief, I know this will come as a surprise to you and also to the company at large. Really? Yes. Okay. Spill it out. Okay, Chief. Um, myself and my family won the US visa lottery. Oh, wow. That is certainly an exciting good news. Thank you, sir. I'm happy for you. Thank you, sir. And uh, I've come to inform you that I'll be leaving the shores of this country with my family to the United States very soon. That is great. So, how are Ella and uh, the kids taking it? Ella and the kids are very, very happy about it. You know, Ella has been so supportive from the first day I started this journey. You know, it's been her dream to live in abroad. And I guess it is a dream come true. Well, that's great. I can identify with her. Actually, I lived abroad for over 20 years. You know, it was exciting. I got all the requisite training and experience from there. But you see, there is nowhere like home. Yes. But even at that, um, it took my father passing on for me to come back to this country. Because I really had no option. I had to come back to run the business, you know. My father, Chief Raymond, was a business magnate. You know, when you talk of business, you talk of Chief Raymond. He was a renowned uh, magistrate. He was also into timber, fiber, rubber, and oil and gas. So when he passed on, I had no option but to come back and uh, 
take over the running of the businesses. So, like I said before, I am happy for you and your family. I am not the type that stands in the way of success. You know, I mean, someone else's success. But in this case, there's a problem. Hello? Ah, please, one minute. Uh, Pedro? Excuse we will have to continue the discussion some other time. I will send for you. Okay? Okay, okay. Thank you, Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. Wellwood. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Oh, yes, it was a fruitful discussion. All right, bye. Whew. That was a long one. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, yes, Pedro, you can come over now. Ah, ah, Chief. Sit down, please. Thank you, Chief. Well, um, sorry for that interruption. It was um, an important discussion with uh, Mr. Welford. It's okay, Chief. Okay. So, um, I told you there was a problem before you left. Yes. You know. In as much as I am happy for you, you know, with uh, the new fit, um, I'm equally a little bit um, not comfortable because a vacuum would have been created. Well, uh, there's no gain saying that uh, you were a diligent worker, you were efficient and effective. You've contributed a lot to the development of this company and its growth, both in terms of growth and their profitability. And uh, your absence uh, will create a very big vacuum. And that is the real problem. So I we need somebody who is trusted, somebody as intelligent as you, somebody that is um, reliable, a good administrator to take over from you. And um, I don't know, do we have to place an advert in the newspapers? Oh, no, no, no. There won't be need for that, uh, placing an advert on newspaper. Mm -hmm. I already have someone in mind. Really? Yes. So who could that be if I may ask? He is one of us, Chief. I have watched him closely. And I have no doubt that he's trusted and reliable. He has worked for this company effortlessly, as if the company is his. And one thing that I cherish about this young man is his patience. So, who could that be? Mr. Jimmy. Jimmy? The company messenger? Yes, Chief. The company messenger. But he deserves more. Chief, I have taken my time to study that young man. I personally went through his credentials and I found out that he has first class in business administration. Chief, it will be so unfair for us to place an advert when we have someone as competent as Mr. Jimmy in this establishment. I think we should just allow this young man to run the affairs of this company. I have studied him so, so well. Chief, that young man is a goal getter. And I think we should allow him to pilot the affairs of this company to a greater London. Hmm. I think you're right. As a matter of fact, my wife had uh, earlier told me that uh, Jimmy deserves something bigger and better and now you are just uh, corroborating that fact you see so jimmy is it yes he is the man he's the man it's all right um, well congratulations once more on your winning the visa lottery thank you chief 
But one more thing. Before you leave, ensure that you do a proper handover to Jimmy, okay? Ah, oh, thank you. I will do just that. And once more, I want to thank you for at least listening to me. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, Chief. <laughs> I'll take my leave now. All right. Thank you. I have been faithful. I have been living Mr. Jimmy, congratulations. I have my reasons to quit. I said congratulations, Mr. Jimmy. Sir, I don't understand. Why are you congratulating me? Don't worry. You need to go now. I'll call you much later. But, sir, uh, I, I... There's no but. You may leave. I will call you. God of the poor. Okay. Where have you been for long? Are you chilling somewhere? Can you feel? I heard the manager saying congratulations to you. What did you win? Because your nose is too big. That's why you poke nose every time. One day your nose will go at this door and you want to remove it in here. Then you'll be fired. Mr. Jimmy, why are you saying all this to me? I, I, it's just the way he called you out. See your business. Eh? Is it your business? Okay, sorry. But hope is good news. Pugnoza is dropping. He is dropping. That's why I say he is dropping. Until he adapt one day. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. I summoned this meeting to break uh, the news of the current happening um, in the company. It's something that uh, I am taking with mixed feelings. Mixed feelings in the sense that uh, it's good news and also bad news so to say for the company i want to let you know that um, pedro here our general manager is leaving us yes. um, he's leaving us not because he actually wanted to leave but uh, due to circumstance beyond his uh, rejection if i put it that way it's something he cannot afford to reject uh, it pleases me to announce to you that uh, pedro has won the u.s visa lottery wow congratulations sir thank you oh, congratulations congratulations thank you. mr pedro thank you thank you so as a result, he's uh, already planning to travel to the United States with his uh, family to settle down and possibly work there according to the dictates of the program. So you see, that is why I said I, I was happy even though um, I feel a little bit bad. Um, I feel bad because Pedro is a diligent worker, he's a hard worker, he has contributed immensely to the growth and the profitability of this company in no small way, uh, which means his uh, absence will create a vacuum that is almost practically impossible to fill perfectly. All right. So that was why I said I felt a little bit bad. However, I cannot be a clock in the wheel of progress. So, 
I have no option but to let it go. Um, well, I also want to use this medium to tell you that we'll be organizing a sent forth party for him on Saturday at uh, Recozy Hotels Limited. So I'm sure we'll all be there to <laughs> grace the occasion. Thank you. Congratulations once more. Thank you. Mr. P. Thank you. Well, I, permit me to use the same uh, stone to kill two birds. You know. So I want to use this meeting also to announce to you that um, we have to fill his position. You know. And fortunately for us, we have found somebody in this company that can fill that position reasonably well. I'm sure you are wondering who that person is. Jamie? Sir? Could you please stand up? Say, Mimi. You all know Jimmy very well. He's the company messenger. You know how he works. He's a very funny person. He makes everybody happy. But aside that, it might interest you to know that he is a first class graduate of business administration. And uh, while working as uh, the company messenger, Pedro and I have uh, tested him in various uh, capacities and uh, he delivered very well. So, consequently, I am pleased to announce to you that uh, Jimmy is our new general manager. Sorry, you, you mean me? Jimmy. Of course you, Jimmy. Oh, so, the... Uh, uh, Chief? Yes? Are you sure about this? Of course. Do you have any problem with that? Why Jimmy? Why not him? I mean, I see this with a bit of skepticism. This is a very big company with its branches all over the globe and still expanding its tentacles. So, I think we shouldn't be sentimental when it comes to decision taking. Excuse me? Stephanie? Are you by any means challenging my decision? Anyway, um, you all know that our company has uh, various branches all over the world. And so, Jimmy, you are going to be working all over the world. You'll be globe throttling, so to say. So, Documentations will be made for you to be able to do that. And uh, Pedro will take you around to introduce you and get you familiarized with uh, our activities in the various branches. Okay? Um, at the end of this meeting, I need you to come to my office to collect your employment letter. And that letter will contain your remuneration as the uh, general manager of this company. Thank you so much. Help, Father. Hey. It can only be you. Help. My name is. I have been faithful. I have been living my life in fear of you. I have not resisted to wait. Please can we Well, 
the absence of any question. I declare this meeting closed. Yeah. Oh. You're here. Are you back? No, I'm not here. I'm still at the office. <laughs> I was not today. Well, work was fine, and um, we had a board meeting today. Okay. I guess it was about handing over to Junior's new GM, right? That is correct. Oh, come on, tell me about it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was a good one. We actually enjoyed ourselves. I, I thought you were going to ask me about the Qigong. I you know? Would, you know I would definitely ask. <laughs> I wanted to finish about Jimmy, then you told me what you're doing with the Qigong. We ate so much, so I had to take the Qigong to freshen my breath. Uh -uh. You know? My husband doesn't have a bad foot. I know. So, uh, Daddy, welcome. Abigail, why are you kneeling down? Dad. I want to tell you thank you for everything you have done for I, my brother and my mother. Thank you so much. Daddy, may God bless you. May God answer all your heart's desires. Anything you want in this life, may God give it to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Daddy, thank you. It's all right. No, that's Happy it. Girl, it's all right. Hey, you said all the prayers of this world on my little head. Huh? That is my love. It's not all right. Thank you so much for seeing my only brother worthy enough to manage Douglas and Douglas Associations. May God bless you. Everything you have done for me, somebody will do it for you. Mommy, <laughs> thank you. Mommy, may God bless you. Greet daddy for me. Girl, thank you, it's enough. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Abigail. Mommy, thank you. Yeah, go back to what we are doing. God inside. bless you both in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. It's okay. Uh, Abigail. <laughs> Abigail, the drama queen. <laughs> she's full of drama. Drama queen. You know she's full of drama. Always drama. Okay, you can go. Okay, you can go. <laughs> My sister, Rosie, you can't believe what happened in our office today. Eh? You can't believe what transpired in our office today. I've just been laughing. I've just been shouting. I've just been screaming. Hey! This one choke. <laughs> um, Rosalind, <laughs> you've been moving round, but you've not said anything. What happened? My sister, you see this life, eh? Don't look down on anybody because you don't know tomorrow. You know our former uh, um, company messenger, Mr. Jimmy, the one I've been telling you yeah, about. Jimmy. Do you know that Jimmy has been promoted to our general manager? General manager of Douglas's and Douglas's Association Nigerian Limited. All over the world. Oh. Hey, it's all. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm so excited. <laughs> Ha! You've not seen it. Go and bring your phone. Check the internet. Jimmy is all over the internet. Jimmy this, Jimmy that, this one. Hey! Uh, um, um, Rosalind, I eh? hope this is not one of your jokes. Wait, 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 wait. How can you think I'll be joking with a thing like this? I'm not joking, no. You know, eh? Mr. Pedro, our former um, general manager. He got visa to travel with his family to the U.S. Ah, so they are relocating. Oh. So now, Jimmy has replaced him. Hey! hey! I am so happy for him. My sister, I am very, very happy for him. Oh my. Hey! <laughs> Do you and know that the God that remembered Jabez, despite the circumstances, has oh. remembered Jimmy? 
You can say that hey. again. And do you know that this is a guy that I have been reassuring, reassuring, begging him, calm down, believe in God. There is oh. nothing God cannot do. When you trust God, God will always make a way. All of a sudden, God just remembered him. My sister, what God cannot do does not exist at all. You can say that hey. again. You can say that again. Do you know this guy in question almost passed out? Oh. When his father died, he could not pay a penny for his father's hospital bill. That was why his father passed out. Oh. And now, God just remembered him and changed his story. This is a case from grass to grace. I see the level. Oh my God. He choked. I am so happy for him. My sister, I am very, very happy for him. I just pray. <laughs> He remembers me in his paradise room. <laughs> now that he's now our, all that, 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 that. <laughs> um. I have been faithful. I have been living my life. <laughs> Debbie, you brought me out here. You've been staring at me. What's going on? Rosalind. Hmm? Rosalind. Yes. Rosalind. What was your problem? Why are you just calling my name? How many times did I call you? Three. Three times, right? Yes. Rosalie, this is the right time you should get Jimmy. What are you talking about? What do you mean, what, I'm, what am I talking about? Uh, Rosalie, you have been there for Jimmy. He has been... He has been putting, in fact, he has been resting his head on your shoulder when he needs help. Everything about you is him. Whenever he's in trouble, it's you. Whenever he needs somebody, it's you. So don't you think this is the right time to lay your shoulder on him too? Eh? Debbie, honestly, you amaze me. Yes, you do. Wait, 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 wait. In as much as I want to get married, it doesn't, you know, Allow me to be pushing myself or falling for a man or chipping myself because I want to get married. Who is talking about being cheap here? Nobody is talking about being cheap now, Rosalind. <laughs> eh, just maybe invite him to your house or go to his apartment, wash his clothes, cook for him. Just make him feel comfortable. I want him to see the woman in you. <laughs> Did you listen to yourself? No, did you listen to yourself? Somebody that I have never visited, I have never been to his house, when he was a messenger, all of a sudden, because he's now the general manager, I should go and visit him. Is that what you're saying? Rosalie, Rosalie, you, you're a good woman. I don't want that guy to miss you. If you don't go to him, other girls will. Yes, this is the right time. Like, right now. Debbie, please. If this is the only advice you brought me out here to give me, I'm sorry. Just let me be. Eh, eh, okay. Oh. Stay here. Very soon you will, you will hear that Jimmy is married. No, stay here now. I want other girls. Hello, Jeremiah, my son. How are you today? Huh? I heard the good news. Yes, I did. Abigail called to tell me that you were promoted in your place of work. Huh? <laughs> my dear, it's the Lord's doing, honestly. So happy for you. And I'm happy. I know you're a late father. But and will be so happy wherever he is there. Hi, thank God for you. Now, do you know what? I went to see Mimi's parents on your behalf. Jeremiah, how can you be asking me who is Mimi? Miracle, of course. Yes, the very miracle, you know. Yes. She's the girl I'm making arrangement for you to marry. She's from a very good background. And she's a good wife material for you. Yes. No, don't say that. Just leave the city girls alone. Let the city girls be. 
Jeremiah, I said, let the city girls be, eh? Miracle is the wife I want you to bring home for me. Ah. No. Don't say that, Jeremiah. No, 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 no. You will marry the wife I choose for you. Yes. Can't take it no what? He hung up the phone on me. What is happening? The GM demands your presence. Thank you, Miss Stephanie. I have my reasons to quit, but please, can we talk right now? I'm very fine, sir. Good afternoon. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Take a look at you, Mr. Jimmy. <laughs> oh my God. Ah, ah. You see this position of a new general manager? It looks really good on you. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Ah, ah. Take a look at you now. I beg, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, my woman. Thank you so much. No, it's nothing. Come on, you deserve everything you got. You're very humble. Generous and very, very patient. So why not? <laughs> I hope you're not teasing me. Ah, no, far from it. I'm not teasing you at all. <laughs> I'm saying the truth. <laughs> anyway, I just still have to say thank you so much because your encouraging <laughs> words and prayers kept me. You know, you, 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 you gave me the reason to realize that God has not forsaken me. You're a good woman. Thank you, sir. It's nothing. Like I always say, God will never forget his own. Once he starts with you, he will finish with you. That's how God is. So don't worry. <laughs> this is just the beginning. Thank you. Thank you so much, my rose. Ah. My, my rose. <laughs> You're calling me my rose, my love, my this one, my this one. Ah, hope I'm stable. You're very, very safe, but you won't understand. You know, you deserve all I call you, even more. Because you're the reason I didn't commit suicide. Suicide? Yeah. So, wait, though. Was there a time in your life you tried to take your own life? Several times. But you see, your encouraging words and your advice and your care kept me going. And I never did. Thank God. I didn't know it got to that point. It really got to that point, but I thank God for you. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> anyway, I will be traveling tomorrow. Yeah, so I heard. So what do I get for you when coming back? Um, anything. <laughs> anything that you like is fine. Okay, no problem. I'm going to get you something very tangible. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank You're you, welcome. sir. God bless you. Thank you. I, I have to thank you. Not you thanking me. Love you. The best you've ever done. Love you. You know, love is yeah. It's the best you've ever done. Love is yeah. you. Center of my world. You're the best gift I've ever got. Love is you. Yeah. That's all I wanna do. Oh, baby. Let me love you. Love you, love you.
Rosalie, ma, what is the problem? Eh? Are you okay? <laughs> yes, mommy, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes, mommy, I'm very, very fine. I'm okay. You are not. Because these days, I notice most of the time you're sitting lost in thought or sometimes talking to yourself. Do you want to tell me about it? Mom, it's not like that. I'm just thinking about work. Like, my head is filled up. I have a lot on my table. That's all I'm thinking about. Apart from that, I'm okay. I don't have, to have any issue. I'm fine. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Rosalind, I am your mother. And I know you are not fine. You don't want to tell me about it, right? Mom, I've just said I'm fine. There is no problem, honestly. I'm only thinking about work. Who is he? Who? Who, mommy? Who is that young man that is deceiving you? <laughs> there is no young man no, that is deceiving me. Oh. I'm only thinking about work. <laughs> Are you sure it's just work that is making you sit down and talk to yourself as if you're a mad person? Hmm? Um, it's just work. Honestly, I have a lot on my table and I have to finish it. Before my ending will sack me all. And I hope you realize how long you have been washing these clothes. Mm. Yes. Or do you intend to sleep outside? You intend to sleep here with the clothes? Mm. You know you're supposed to go and buy food stuff for the house. Have you forgotten? Yes, yes, that's true. So you better hurry up, oh. You better hurry up. I'm finished now. I just want to love somebody and pray that someone loves me back. I just want to be the best I can. I don't want to live a life of crime. What is my crime? This is my life. My life, my life, my life. This is my love. My life, my life, my life. I just want to be free Let me be free What have I done wrong? Why can't I sleep? Why am I having this disorder? All because of him Oh my god I know in Nigeria now, they must be sleeping. You know my girl is sleeping by now. Let me call her. I just want to love somebody And pray that someone loves me back I just want to be the best I can I don't want to live a life of crime Hello babe. What is my crime? Sorry, who is this? Hello, sir. Yeah, how are you? I guess you're sleeping already. I can't sleep. Why? I can't tell. How are you? And work? Work is fine, just stressful. And how are you, sir? I'm good. How is your, how is your mom? Okay, you know, I've 
not heard from you for some time now so I said let me call you to know how you're doing yeah at least hearing your voice now I'm fine I hope you're good huh? okay well let me allow you to go back to bed okay I'll call you back later miss you <laughs> I miss you too take care of yourself okay I just wanna be free let me be free from pain and sorrow Rosie from pain and sorrow I'm so so happy we are able to beat all those traffic jams. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, anytime I'm going to my next communication, I'm always very very scared, you know. My heart skips because all those traffic are... <sighs> Mr. Jimmy is coming back today. According to what I heard the MD telling one of our branch managers on the phone. What? I heard the MD telling one of our branch managers. Oh my god! You mean Mr. Jimmy is coming back today? Oh, that's good news! Good news! Oh, that's so sweet! You know, the company has been so boring since Mr. Jimmy traveled. I can't wait! <laughs> Mr. Jimmy deserved what he got. Exactly what I told him. I said, Mr. Jimmy, you deserve everything you got. He's a good man. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh my God. At least to prove to Miss Stephanie that he's not a failure, but just waiting for his set time to come. Ah, talking about that one, I don't know what's that problem. Like the way she treats people, the way she speaks to Mr. Jimmy, like he's a nobody. Do you even have to rub it on his face? Honestly, I don't know why she'll be doing all that. We are not blind. We all can see how she has been treating Mr. Jimmy ever since he, he became the company's messenger. Well, I just wonder sometimes that is a crime to be poor. My dear, poverty is something else. It's something everybody should really, really work, work hard, you know, to break out. You see that thing called poverty? Everyone needs to work so hard to break the seen and the unseen battle called poverty. Because it's crazy. Ah. The society so frowns at poverty. But they celebrate those that have made it. That is why everyone is fighting so hard to defeat poverty. You see people now going into different things, different vices, online fraudulence just to make it. It's terrible. Good, sir. 
Nice to see you. That's, that's good. <laughs> All right, let me take my leave. Excuse me, sir. It's okay. It's okay. Wow. Good to be back. Really, really good to be back. My You're welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Good. How was your journey? So far, so good. Mm, I can see. Yeah. You look good. So tell me, I hope you got something for us. Miss Stephanie, as you can see, I just walked into my office and I've not done anything. Okay? So if you don't mind, can you please excuse me so I can tidy up my table and do some other things? It's okay. It's fine. Rosalind, you are come to my office. So happy to be back. Hi, happy to have you back. Oh, at least now we can laugh and be happy in this office. My girl, my girl is soft. Wow. The rose, my superwoman. What's going on? I think there is something going on between these two. I'll find out. Things to say. Okay? I am the GM of this company and I have the right to sack you from this company and you know it. The MD must hear this. Ah, sorry, my dear. Sorry for the interruption. Okay. Come on, let me wait. I'll, I'll wait later. Okay, it's okay. It's all yours. So you can wait at any time you hey, want. This is so fun. Thank you, wow. sir. Thank you. So, sir, how was your trip and the meeting with the foreign company? Okay, it was good. It went well. And, uh, they will be coming to Nigeria in the next few days. Are you serious? Yeah. Hey! So this is good though. I know that you will make this company very proud. <laughs> and you will take this company to the next level. I promise to do my best. Oh. I'll make this company proud. Oh, we are proud of you. Come, come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> I'm happy to have you back. <laughs> wow. Okay, you know what? Good, sir. Right, it's okay. Get back to your office. I will have you for dinner. Do not give me that look. Because I won't take no for an answer. Sorry, Sal. Um, Mr. Jimmy, does it mean that you want to take me out on a date? Yes, my love. <laughs> okay, you get to your office, okay? I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's okay. I just want to love somebody and pray to someone who loves me back. I just want to. 
Please, what can I get for you? Oh, I've placed an order already. Oh, you have placed an order? Yeah. Okay, have a nice time. Okay. Wow, this place is beautiful. <laughs> you like it, huh? Yes. I know you like it, that's why I brought you here. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. You look gorgeous. <laughs> thank you, sir. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> and please, drop this sa 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 thing, okay? We are not at the office. Okay, when we get to the office, you can call me that. Sorry, I can't do that though. You're my boss. Why will I call you by your name? If you really do not want to upset me, please don't call me that. Okay, you can call me Jimmy. Sir, oh, all right, Mr. Jimmy, if you insist. I insist. <laughs> Fine. Okay, see, there are some mistakes I did in the past, which I wouldn't want to do again. Okay, how do you mean? Miss Stephanie. Miss Stephanie? That reminds me. I've been meaning to ask you, what you have with Miss Stephanie and why does she hate you so, so much? Uh, I don't have anything with her. My only crime was that I... I was poor. I don't know. That was my crime. She's not serious. Yes. Were you the only poor guy around? I'm my only offense towards her was because I asked her to marry me. For real? Yeah. You asked her to marry you? Wow. I mean... But she told me that she'd rather die than to marry a low life like me. She said a lot of things, called me all sorts of names, which I wouldn't want to start saying here. And someday, I approached her with the same marriage issue. Stephanie, please, be the mother of my kids, please. You must be going crackers! Of course I am going crackers for you. Hi, how did you know? Goodness me, what are you even thinking? That I will condescend so low? Huh? I'm thinking of how to make you my wife. Answer me, you imbecile! Stephanie, I'm not wounded. You slapped me, and I will slap you again if you do not get out of my way. Ah. You said this? It will teach you a lesson, never to come before me to spew such nonsense again. Stephanie, see, Idiot! It's not fair now that you slapped me because I was asking you to be the mother of my kids. Because I was begging you from my heart to marry me. I was just pouring out my heart. Oh my yeah. I, I, I love you with everything in me, Stephanie. Try and understand me now. Wait, you? Yeah. you? Yes. You, Jimmy, you want to marry me? Exactly. Really? Yes. Please. You want to marry me? I, 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 I can take care of her once. Oh, no, no, shut, 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 shut it. Shut it, you imbecile. You, Jimmy? Jimmy boy. You want to marry me? Yes, I want to marry you. I cannot stop. You, you can go ahead and cut off my head, slap me, kill me, hit me, anything. I will not stop loving you. I will never stop. Oh my God, do you, 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 you even know how much I despise you? Do you know how much I, I, I hate you? Gosh, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you and every single thing you represent. Stephanie, you hate me. Is, is it that you hate my bongo trouser or you hate my sopping kushu? Because I know my personality is sharp. 
I said I hate you and everything you represent. Uh, I, I, Don't you get it? You can go ahead and do whatever you want to do to me. I will never stop. I will never stop. I, I, I love you. I love Listen you. As I close these eyes, before I open them, I want you to get out of my way. No, now. No condition is permanent though. We can work it out. We, okay. we can build it together, okay? We can oh. do things together. Do you want to see we what I'll do? Do you want to see what I would do? I'm just begging you. Get yeah. out. I'm just begging you. Get out! Stated. Did you have a fight with Miss Stephanie? Ah, come on. I'm sorry to bother you, but it seems you've forgotten where you are. There's an office. Yes. And whatever relationship you share with Miss Stephanie, you need to be careful because it's too risky. It might cost you everything. Everything you've worked for. Hmm. It's just my advice to you. Please be careful. God of the poor, where have you been for long? Can you hear me call from my place of pain? God of the universe. Where have you been for long? I've been waiting, I've been praying. Can you hear? Hey! What in the world is this man? So they don't want to blow for you. You know they don't want to blow for you. Where your mind is? So why not kill you? Let me go kill you. Carry your problem. Can you hear me? I have been faithful. I have been living my life in fear of you. I have my reasons to wait, but please. Holy Moses, you mean you went through all that? That was just a quarter of what I went through in the hands of that girl. I'm so sorry. It's okay. You know, I was... I was thinking I... I, I, I thought I was doing the right thing, you know. I thought I was loving Stephanie. Not knowing that it was an infatuation, lost. Okay. And she, I mean, whatever, whatever, it's okay, it's okay. But I, I was doing a good mistake. I never looked your way, even when you were there for me, you know. I was suffering in the hands of Stephanie. You were there for me, you were encouraging words and all that. I just want to say thank you. <laughs> thank you so much because without those wonderful words of yours, I wouldn't have gotten it right. But your words kept me going. It's all right, Mr. Jimmy. We're friends. 
What are friends for? We should be there for each other. So it's fine. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. I see, I want to give you that special thing. That's this special thing I got for you from Dubai. I know. <laughs> That's a special thing I've not given to you. I just kept it all this while. I saw it. Sir, I thought it was good. Okay. Something very special. A picture. What is she doing here? Okay. Hmm. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Yeah, Bukia is now selling food. Oh. You buy food. Oh. <laughs> and this is the special food from Dubai. You've not eaten it before. Mr. Jimmy, these are flowers now. <laughs> yeah. Flowers. Dubai flowers. But you've not seen it before. It's very special, very special. Can you perceive the aroma? Yeah, they smell so good. Okay, before we eat it, I want you to close your eyes. <laughs> oh, Mr. Jimmy can never change. No, you can't eat this food with your eyes open. All right. Mm. Are they closed now? Yes, they are closed. <laughs> are you sure you're closing your eyes? Of course. Okay. Please, will you marry me? Please marry my brother. I have been faithful. I have been living my life. Mom, this is giving with smiles. <laughs> Mom, mm -hmm. <laughs> a man has asked for my hand in marriage. <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> He's our company general manager. Eh? Manager? Of your company? I'm telling hey. you. You see, I knew it. I knew you were going to marry a very big man. <laughs> That's my prayer for you. Hey, I'm so happy for you. I'm happy too, Mom. Hey. But there is a problem. A problem? Yeah. What kind of problem? Mom, he's asking that he wants to see my father's kinsman. Mom, you're not saying anything. Mom, he has been asking me about my parents, my father, my mom. And what did you tell him? Uh, I told him I, I only stay with my mother. Dad, I don't know my father. I have been living my life in fear of you. Mom. I have my reasons to quit. Oh, please. please can don't do I this again. I beg you. Right Mom. Where is your Remember, I've, I've been through a lot oh, going up. You know how I faced rejection. From my my age group. They just rejected me. Everybody avoided me as if I was an outcast. Oh, please. I've been through a lot growing up. If not for my friend Debbie, who was just there for me. When everybody rejected me and never wanted to have anything to do with me. When the time has come. For you to tell me who my father is. I need to know my origin. I need to know where I'm from. Who are my kinsmen. Mommy, please. I love Jimmy so, so much. And he loves me too. I wouldn't want the circumstances of my birth to be the one to hinder my marriage. I beg you, Mom, please. Just tell me who my father is. Running out of time. I'm losing my mind. I have been. 
you've been making this hell, you've been smiling. Where Tell me, let this out. What is it? She wants to drag a man with me. <laughs> Since she's decided to pull a stunt. <laughs> Good day, Miss Stephanie. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Miss Stephanie. Is, huh? every Is everything all right? She's even asking me a question. So, did I do anything wrong? Baby, let me call you back, okay? This one is definitely always alien. So, girl, I'll be coming to see your mom very soon. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, that would be nice. Mommy will be so happy to see you. Okay. At least I come see your mom, see your dad, and then we talk. <laughs> I'll tell mom you'll be coming to see her. I don't you have father? Uh, I don't have a dad. I only just have my mom. I don't understand. I don't know my dad. Yes, I grew up with a single parent. Just my mom. I mean, see, you know, sometimes you like to joke. I mean, but this is just a serious joke. Babe, I'm serious. I'm not joking. I've always asked my mom about my dad. But she wouldn't say anything. She would just keep quiet and don't want to talk about it. I'm tired of asking her. I grew up having no friends, nobody. Just my mom. Do your friends know about the deal? How are you feeling about this? It's been crazy. Really. You know, waking up each day and just trying to find a way to be happy. You don't know what I go through every day, even at the office. But I just try to, you know, be happy and believe in God. I don't even have any friend, just Debbie. She's the only one who believes in me because every other person calls me bastard. Baby, it's okay. It's okay. You are not a bastard, okay? You are not. I am coming to see your mom, okay? Mm -hmm. it, it, it doesn't matter. I still love you, okay? Yes, I... I, I will make sure I do the needful. I'll come and see your mom. Then we'll start off from there. Believe in yourself, trust yourself. You, I mean, you are not a bastard. Baby, there's a serious problem. And what could that be? You know that lady, Stephanie? Who is Stephanie? Our office accountant. What about her? You know, when Jimmy was still our office messenger, Jimmy proposed to her. But she turned him down and said and did all sort of things to him. And now, Jimmy has proposed to me. 
Now she wants Jimmy back. Ah. How? Girls of nowadays. Our oh, girls of nowadays, they are gold diggers. They don't like suffering. They just want already made. Does Jimmy want her back? No. What is wrong with you? What has come over you? You should be thinking of, about how to, how to live a, a happy life. You're here thinking about Stephanie. What is your problem? I'm just confused. <laughs> See, you don't have to be confused. Eh? You don't have to be. You're a good woman. You deserve Jimmy. And Jimmy loves you. What you should be thinking about right now is how to live a good life with Jimmy. How to, how to plan your marriage. How to, how to plan yourself. Not to think about that girl. See, if you want to live a happy married life, you need to do these things. Now listen to me. Respect your husband. Hmm? Make sure he is the man of the house. Don't take that away from him. Hmm? Respect him. Just do everything he wants you to do for him. By doing all these things, you will live with your husband happily. Yes. Thank you very much, Debbie. Uh, it's nothing. My friend, I am going to introduce this book to you. Yes, it's called Living a Happy Life Even While Married. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I know this book. I've seen Jimmy reading it. Oh, that is very interesting. So you should borrow it from Jimmy. You need to look in that book. It's really going to teach you a whole lot of lessons, a whole lot of tips on how to follow your marriage. I, I am experienced. I have three kids, so I should know better. Debbie, you become a marriage counselor. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, you know I am, I am already into this thing. You can say that again. Thank you so much, Debbie. I will sure drag Jimmy to come here so that you will cancel us because you're now a marriage counselor. <laughs> you're going to pay. It's not free. Oh. Anybody you're bringing here, bring money. I <laughs> do like money, my friendship. <laughs> and you should be thinking about your marriage, not that, that so-called... Uh, what did you call her name again? Stephanie. Don't even talk about that thing with that name close to me. Think about your marriage. Uh -uh. I should be thinking about something that doesn't make sense. Thank <laughs> you. Baby, can you imagine some girls are just fun in this life? <laughs> Why do you say so? That girl, Stephanie, she's just a disgrace to you, womanhood. <laughs> what did she do again? I don't know if she expects me to be running into her arms all the time after all she did to me when I had nothing. Really? Yeah. You can imagine Stephanie coming to my office every now and then. I don't know what she wants from me. <laughs> it's very obvious. Maybe she wants you back. Yes. <laughs> How about my dead body? Maybe calm down, okay? Don't allow Stephanie to be your problem, okay? No, Stephanie is not my problem. Uh, for real, I've uh, forgiven her, but I'll never forget what she did to me. You know? I know. Or maybe she... She wants to have you back as a man. My dear, Stephanie finished me. Stephanie called me all sorts of names. Stephanie said a lot of things to me. I can't even, I can't even comprehend. I, anyway, anyway, I hold nothing against her. I've forgiven her, but I will never forget what she did to me because can, she can't eat her cake and have it. <laughs> of course. I, I think I have to tell her about us. About us? Yeah. She knows already. She knows about us? Mm -hmm. Then why all this drama? <laughs> you know women are very, very sensitive. And when it comes to what they want, they can do anything. <laughs> it's very unfortunate that she cannot eat her cake and have it. You're right. Baby, please. Just forget about Stephanie. 
Let her go with her wahala because. It's okay. I'm not holding anything against her, but all, all I'm saying is that I don't have anything to do with Stephanie anymore. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't even have anything to do with her before because she really dealt with me. I okay? Know. She really, really dealt with me. So, <laughs> she just can't eat her cake and have it. That is it. Yeah. But it's, it's okay. I just pray she comes back to her senses and change her ways. That would be better for her. <laughs> I yeah. have been faithful. I have been living my life in fear of you. I have my reasons to quit. But please, can we talk? Get this proposal ready as soon as possible. It will be submitted to Sanchez Company by 2 p.m. Mm, okay, that's fine. Um, excuse me. Yes. Um, sorry, Miss Stephanie. Should I type this with the company's letterhead, or I should use an A4 paper to type it? Are you so daft? Even if I didn't say it, don't you know what you ought to do? Asking stupid questions. God of the poor, where have you been for long? Are you truly somewhere? Mr. are you okay? Can you feel? I've not seen anything. It's just the beginning. Yes. So, you feel you can be flaunting your ass. My sister, calm down. It's just an extraordinary flesh that is added there. Okay? It's not a big deal. What is good for the girls is also good for the ganja. <laughs> You've not seen anything. This is just the beginning. What brings you? Please, I want you to separate them. Please. I want him to be all mine. They, they are planning on getting married, but I want him to be mine. Please, do everything you can to scatter them. He's already yours. Do you believe? Hundred percent. Judge Jehovah Iman. Holy. Mm. Mm. Judge Jehovah Iman. Holy. Ah. Judge Jehovah Iman. Holy. This young man used to like you a lot. Mm. But now, things have fallen apart. And you are the cause of it. And now he wants to marry another. She, Rosalind. Yes. Is that not her name? That's her name. 
200,000 to my account. Let your prayer cleansing begin immediately. We must stop them. separate them. Yes. Please mm. do. Please do. From what I'm seeing, they love each other very well. But I must stop them. Yes. He must marry you. You have to go and come back tomorrow evening by 9 p.m. Okay. I need to cleanse you. You are covered with darkness. Mm. That cannot solve your problem. They've clothed you with darkness. Holy Ghost fire. Before now, your face has been scaring the young man. But after the cleansing, the young man will be running after you. He will be begging you crying to marry you. Then you will see why they call me Ochena Mom. Why they call me Odogu, not Odiego. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. He's your husband already. Thank you. Smile. Celebrate. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. I'll be here. 9 p.m. tomorrow. 9 p.m. Ah. Oh. oh, sis. Let me see how she's going to marry her. Stupid girl. She wants to have shiny. She wants to have shiny Stephanie. <laughs> hit you both like a sledgehammer and you will not know what hits you. You are mine and mine alone. If I can't have you, Rosalind will not. I'd rather die than see you both together. Jimmy, you are running back to me on your knees. <laughs> Love you, the best you never done. Love you, you know. Love you, it's the best you never done. Love you, center of my world. You're the best gift I've ever got. Oh. 
Weigh you down, okay? You don't even know why she doesn't want to speak. Yes, maybe she doesn't want to go back to her past. Uh, I, I guess her past is not something to talk about. She doesn't want to talk about it, I believe. Past? Yeah. Past is already in the past. We're in the present. She needs to speak. She can't just keep quiet and not say anything. I understand her perfectly well. You don't even know what conspired. Okay, so don't judge her. I'm not judging her. She's my mom. I will never judge her. Whatever the problem is, she can always confide in us and speak to us about it. Not letting us be in the dark like that. I'm not a child. I'm a woman. I need to know my origin. I need to know where I'm from. I need to know my father. You're telling me I shouldn't it's be worried. Okay. I want you to know that I love you and I'm going to stick with you, okay? I'm not going down for any other woman. Without father, I still love you. You're my world. You're my angel. You're my Rosie. Yeah? Come on. I love you. I'm here with you, okay? Leave me alone. Hold me alone. <laughs> As I watch your hands. I wash away every spirit of disappointment. Ah, me? Every spirit of disappointment in your life. Ah, me? Every ill spell in your life. Ah, me? I wash away every delay in marriage. Ah, me? I wash away every evil spirit. Every delay in marriage, Ami. every ill luck, Ami. Jimmy is your husband. Ami. As I watch your feet, I watch away every spell Ami. cast on you. Ami. I watch away every delay in marriage. Ami. This day is your day. Ami. Jimmy must marry you. Ami. Jimmy must beg you. You. Uh, me? He must be your husband. Uh, me? I wash away every delay, every darkness. Uh, uh, me? End it. End it. End it. End it. Ja Jehovah Emmanuel. Hey. Ja Jehovah Emmanuel. End it. Uh, the spirit casts on your body and your face was done spiritually and I must remove it spiritually they clothed your face with darkness that's why Jimmy was not able to see you physically I will remove it spiritually Ja Jehovah Emmanuel Ja Jehovah Ja Jehovah Emmanuel Judge over, judge over, and judge over, judge over, judge over, my daughter. You know that it takes the spiritual to control the physical. Anything that is happening in this world today must have happened in the spiritual realm. Your wedding is going on in the spirit right now. Me? I want you to sing any song of your choice. Your wedding is going on. Jimmy is your husband. Sing any wedding song of your choice and dance to it. Judge Jehovah in my It's my wedding day. Ellie. It's my wedding day. Ellie. No, babe, I like this one. I like this. <laughs> Whoa. This is fine now. This is good. You really have eye for good things. Of course. 
baby, <laughs> on that day, I want to look stunning for you. <laughs> uh, this looks good. Um, wow, wow, wow. Maybe this will be for pre-wedding picture. So we just stay like this. <laughs> okay, let me show you something. Okay. What do you think about this? Wow, this is heavenly. <laughs> so Look at very well. Where has she gone to? I'm sure she has gone to see him. She's hardly on her desk these days. What is happening? I carry the prescription of what a sharp sharp gave me accordingly. Gina Moore played a fast one on me. Her stupid spiritual cleansing or whatever she calls it did not even work. <sighs> Only God knows what I will do to her should I set my eyes on her. Two hundred thousand naira gone down the drain just like that. Anyway, see her. She must return my money even to the last couple. This is my love, my life, my life, my life. I just want to be free. Let me be free. If is did not go, was will go. Rosalind, you will never have Jimmy because he belongs to me. Yes? Hello, Miss Stephanie. <laughs> what? Yeah, so the general manager asked me to bring this file to you. Please go through it. The MD is waiting for it. <laughs> you just had to drop it on the table and, and leave. Must you sit? Get out. What? You heard me. I said leave my presence. Excuse me? Rosalie, leave my office at once! <laughs> Miss Stephanie, sorry if I may ask, but are you okay? Is everything alright? Your father! Life works like this, so you feel you can eat your cake and then have it. Is that what you think? Oh no, it would never happen. Months back, he was all over you. He was crushing on you. He wanted you, but what did you do? You were busy saying all sorts of things to him. You did and said all sorts of things to him. Excuse me. Oh my God. You heard me. Now listen to me. Now. You will never have him. I know you're thinking you want him. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Is that not what you're thinking, my lady? <laughs> Stephanie, Selen, Selen, now let me shock you. You will never 
have Jimmy. He belongs to me, not even in your dream. Excuse me. Loser! That's what you want. I just want to love somebody and pray to someone who loves me back. I just want to be the best of you. Mommy, please. I'm begging you. Rose, my daughter. I know you're thinking I hate you. Or I don't want your happiness. Far from it. You're my only daughter. My only child. And your happiness is my utmost priority. I promised myself I'm not going to have anything to do with your father again. He deceived me. He made me believe he loved me. Little did I know he only wanted to take advantage of me. Mom. I know, I know I'm a bastard. Yes. But please. Please, just tell me, who is my father? That is all I'm asking. He didn't want you. He doesn't even know you exist. He gave me money 30 years ago to go and flush you out. Um, Mama, I understand your plight, but please, you just have to do this for us, now that he's still alive, okay? You know, women doesn't collect bread price. I would have suggested we leave him and go on with the marriage plans. And you see, your daughter need to reconcile with her father. Please. My son Jimmy, I can't help it. Mama, please, Mama, you don't have to be adamant over this. Mama, you don't have to be adamant over this. Your daughter's happiness should be, should be your concern. Okay? I am still very much pained. Junior broke my heart. He betrayed my trust. No. Mama, please, please. I know how you feel, but you have to calm down. Okay? Are you going to oh. tell me hey. who my father is? Or should I end it? Rosalie. Don't come for me, please. Are you going to tell me who my father is? Please, don't do this. Rosalie, please stay out of this. If you kill yourself, what am I going to do? Stay out of this. Rose. Are you going to speak? Ah! Go. Oh. Oh. Baby. I Baby, what is it? Jimmy, what is it? Baby, baby, what is it? Leave him alone! I'll just say what you got. Baby, please don't do this to me. Please talk to me. What is wrong with you? Jimmy, no. talk to me. Baby, talk to me. Talk to me. Baby, please, Jimmy, don't speak up. Jimmy, baby, please. Leave him alone! Stay away from me. Did you hear me? I said, just stay away from me. This is what you want, right? You're happy, okay? They're happy, right? Don't even come close to him. Maybe because they're please, please. I'm ready Maybe to talk. Please. I'm ready to talk. Talk, please. Wake him up. Baby, what Jimmy, wake He's ready. Jimmy, no. I'm ready to talk. <laughs> baby, baby. I'll save you. Baby. Baby. Oh. Baby. Sorry. Sorry. Baby, you okay? Baby, you okay? Baby. Sorry. 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 I will talk. I will um, talk. Okay. It was. I am fine now. It, it says Mama has agreed to talk. Mm -hmm. it, it, it was 30 years ago. 30 years ago, I was a house help in Justice Raymond's dynasty. He was a son and a business mogul with so many business empires. They had a son 
whose name was Junior. Junior would not let me have a breathing space. He was all over me. All over me. He was a spoiled child. you to do for me right now is to leave my room or else I'll shout. Money, please let it enter. Yes, just keep it. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, I haven't done it before. Oh, really? I'm, I'm scared. Oh. I don't want to get pregnant. Ah, you, you, you are not going to get pregnant. Yes, even if you get pregnant, I will definitely marry you. Yes, and you don't need to be scared. Because my Odugo will take care of you very well. I will do it gently and smooth. You, you will enjoy it. Go, go, go. We are still talking. Go, go. go. You are talking too much. Go. Hello, sir. I'm doing my job. Yes, I know. But you don't need to be stressing yourself too much. I want you to remember that this body now belongs to me and only me alone. Did you know that last night you were this sweet? Yes, so sweet. Sweet and sweet. And this is my first time of having a virgin like you. Stop. It's so sweet. So what do you have here? Okay, I brought this for you just to say thank you for giving me your virginity. My love. Check them out. Go on. Thank you. You love them? Yes, I do. Wow. <laughs> okay, uh, come here. <laughs> oh, My you. sweet potato. You are so sweet. Why not check them out? I will. As you can see, I'm busy. I'll check them later. Really? Yes. Okay, my love. Fine. I'll be in my room waiting for you. <laughs> okay. Don't mm -hmm. overstress yourself. Wait, wait. 
look at it. Go away. I am not okay. I have been throwing up for the past few days and I feel very feverish. What? And you kept quiet? Yeah. Have you seen your monthly flu for this month? No. I, I, I haven't seen my period for the past two months now. Are you this daft? What kind of figure are you? You mean you have not seen your monthly flow for the past two months? And it never occurred to you that you are pregnant? Pregnant? Oh. Oh. No, listen, just go and get dressed and let me take you to the clinic now! What, what are we going there to do? What do people go to clinic to do? To drink, Gary? Go and get dressed. Let me flush this thing out of your, your tummy. Flush my baby. Junior, our baby. I thought you said you were going to marry me. Listen, don't start. The earlier we get rid of this thing, the better for both of us. Please, just do as I have said, now! <laughs> Chinyo, I thought you said you loved me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes I love you and I will continue to love you. But we need to do the needful. This thing happened when we least expected it. Besides, I am still a student. I don't want to be a father yet. You have to understand me, my dear. Please. I father don't want my parents to know about this. Let's get this out of your tummy before it's late. Please. Junior. So this is it. You lured me into sleeping with you. When you were sneaking into my room every night to make love to me. Even in the kitchen. In the bathroom. In the balcony. Every part of this house. You know, you didn't know that you were ready to be a father. Were you not enjoying it? Just look at you. Were you not enjoying it? I'm asking you, Flores. Would you not? Oh! Now you've suddenly forgotten. Would you not? Please, spare me that. I have a sweet thing down here. And that is why any gay that tastes of this will ever and will continue to be coming. Just like you. Junior. Yes. Yes, and that is it. Listen, I don't want to have more discussions with you. Just go and get dressed. Oh, Florence, you've suddenly forgotten that I am the only child of my parents and I don't want to disappoint them. I don't want to. Yeah. Listen, I want to help my father out. I want to continue from where he will stop. Please, I don't want them to disown me. Just help me. Just do this for me. It's not too hard. Genio. So simply because you don't want your parents to disown you, 
She wants me to kill an innocent child. Morris, nobody is killing anybody here. Besides, he's still a blood. It's not as if he's yet a baby. It's very simple, can't you see it? Move it. Just go, enough of it. Don't say any more thing. Just go. Go, go and get dressed. Say go, my friend, go and get dressed. You're still looking at me. Look at this thing. Look at this fool. You want to come here and, and be talking rubbish. Who was I even thinking? Did I just... Did I... Did I I can't believe that I touched this thing. This, this dirty thing that I'm even trying to manage. Eh? Okay, I can see. She's not the first. And then will she be the last. And I will continue to be collecting it from her anytime I want it. I must. Please, I am so sorry. Please forgive me. I, I promise to make it up to you. Please forgive me. Please. I bought this for you. If you don't get out of my room right now, I swear to God, I will stab you! Get out! It hasn't got into this. Just calm, calm down. I will explain. Just calm down. Let me. Just calm down, please. 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 Please, my dear. You know I truly love you. I love you so much. I, I didn't know what, what came over me, please. I, I, I'm so sorry, I, I will make it up to you. Just one more chance, please. I was waiting for you. I know you were going to come to my room. Junior, if you know what is good for you, leave my room this minute. You do I can. Leave my room now! Get out of you, Mora! Hey! Come back. Come back and pick this nonsense gift of yours. following me everywhere I go.
Have you right to be angry because I betrayed you? Please, I am so so sorry. I did this for us to save our ass. Flores, I'm so sorry. You won't believe this, what I will tell you. You are the air I breathe. You're my queen. You are my voice. You are the queen. I love you so much. You lie. I am not lying. Flores, I want you to... Don't touch me. I, I want you to understand me. I am not lying. I am telling you the truth. Yes. Okay. Fine. I... I, I couldn't coordinate myself. We, you broke the news of your pregnancy to me, so... I, I, I didn't understand myself and it wasn't easy for me. I know it's very hard for you to believe me, but I love you. I love you so much and I'm so happy that you're fertile. Because as the only son and only child of my parents, I would definitely get married to a fighter woman like you. Yes, very fertile. I know what that means. Sorry. Forgive me. Please. Please. I have forgiven you. Forgive me. Thank you for sugar. Thank you. I just want to love somebody and pray to someone who loves me back. I just want to be the best I can. What is it? What is my crime? This is my life. I understand. Listen, you don't need to be scared of anything. The doctor that carried out the D and C on you is a professional. It's not a quack doctor. Yes. Nothing will happen to you. Trust me. He's my closest friend. Believe me. Come here. <laughs> Good to have you back. Come on. Come on, let's go upstairs. Hold on. Hold on. What is my cry? This is my life. My life, my life, my life. What for? This is my love. My life, my life, my life. Oh. What are you doing? Promise to stay with me for the rest of your life. But I told you I love you. I, I, fine. I promise. Let's do this.
So this is it. Junior, for four consecutive times, you have made me go through abortions. And now he wants me to go through another one, making it a total of five. Where is your conscience? I'm afraid, young lady, you have to go through another D and C. I cannot! I'm asking you, and I will continue to ask you. What is the big deal in flushing out an unwanted seed? What is the big deal there? Oh, so you have forgotten so soon. You have forgotten what your doctor friend said. Okay, let me remind you. He said I may lose my life in another attempt. And believe you me, Junior, I am not ready to die. I don't know why I feel like laughing at you. But let me share the good news. And the good news is, I will be leaving for the States in a fortnight. And I will be gone for so many years, you will not set your eyes on me. Now, I will give you 200,000 Naira. Use part of it and get rid of this thing here. And then use the remaining to take care of yourself. And that is final. Goodbye. Chinu, you did this to me. You deceived me. You made me believe you care so much about me. I never knew it was a contrived incident. You outwit me and gets me pants down. What are you thinking? <laughs> that I will stoop so low to a common house help like you? Hmm? No. So you were playing me all along. Got it wrong. I wasn't playing with you. And I was that deceiving you. But you know what, sweetheart? <laughs> you are not my type. And you will never be my type. You are just a common servant. That's who you are. Understand this? You have to. You see, I am the only child. If a multi billionaire, as you can see the gap, very, very long. So you go look for your class. I am not your class, okay? Who? Oh? Good. Good girl. Good girl. 
high school. <laughs> I know by the time I'm back, most of the gone. living in his father's dynasty. He's married now, but has no child. For how long has he been married now? 27 years. He met his wife abroad, got married before returning back to the country. 27 years of marriage with no child. Mom, please, where is he? I mean, where is my father? Your father is a very rich man. When I say rich, I mean very wealthy. What's your sense of the richness without no child? Anyway, Mama, please, we need to see him. We need to see this man. Please. There's no problem. I'll take both of you to go and see him. Are you sure? Yes. Wow. That's nice. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not be 
what I'm thinking. Hey! Does it mean Ojina Mo or whatever her name is called is fake? Hey! I knew she's not real. I wouldn't have given her my money. My money is gone. Two hundred thousand naira. Gone. No wonder. I thought as much. Because after the spiritual cleansing and spiritual work, Jimmy never looked my way. Set my eyes on her. I will have her jailed. I'll strangle her. What do I do now? What? 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 Uh -huh. Jagada. Jimmy must not marry Rosalie. Even if it's the last thing I am going to do, I must disrupt their plans of getting married. I'll kidnap that stupid Rosalie and release her after I must have married Jimmy. Foolish girl. the particular house? Yes, you stop in front of this gate. This gate at the front. This place? Yes, this white gate. I know this house. What's going on? You know? <laughs> Park well first. Okay. Uh, you look worried. Are you are you running temperature or what? I I know this house. I mean, let it not be what I'm thinking. Baby, you're scaring me now. What's going on? I don't know what's going on. You said you know the place. I don't even I've never been here before. Yeah. How are you? And I mean, open the gate, okay? All right. Can you help me? 
Come on, let's go now. Okay. Sit down. Thank you, sir. Oh. Florence. Douglas. Where have you been? I I looked all over for you when I came back from the United States. Liar. Hey woman, mind the way you talk to my husband. Mind what you tell him. Well, I know he's your husband, and I'm not here to drag him with you. Well, in a few minutes from now, you will know the monster you're married to. Hey! Madam, watch your tongue. You're in my house. You don't call my husband names in my house. Well, madam, I have just one advice for you. Okay, say it respectfully and sit. You see, in life, don't get carried away with containers. Always try to check what is the content. Very important. Honey, who is this woman and what is she talking about? My, my past has caught up with me. What past are you talking about? Well, Douglas, I have brought your daughter to you. Rosalind, this is your father. What? Rosalind? My daughter? Yes. Rosalind was the seed you asked me to flush out, as usual, after several abortions. Even when the doctor advised that any further attempt, I will lose my life. I decided to keep the baby, even after you were long gone at the United States of America. I purposely allowed her work in your firm, so that she can be close to her father. After all the numerous people that applied for that post, she was chosen. And but it was fate at work. This is her first time of knowing her true identity because I purposely kept it away from her. Why? Why didn't you tell my parents? You were pregnant for me. Your parents never believed me. They called me a gold digger and threw me out. I went into the streets. I suffered. With my protruding tummy, I hugged under the scorching sun. Until one day, I ran into the same doctor that advised us not to come for another DNC. 
he told me he intentionally asked us not to come for another abortion because he had been bringing so many girls to his hospital for DNC. He told me you've destroyed so many girls' womb. I suffered. You made me go through pains. I suffered hunger and starvation. I died in the hospital after giving birth to Rosalind. But as the Lord may have it, I woke up two days in the mortuary. We were discharged. And we went back to the same uncompleted building. I've been waiting, I've been I did those things when I was young. It was all due to youthful exuberance. But please, find a place in your heart for you to forgive me. I will never forgive you, Douglas. I will never forgive you. You made me suffer. You remember we took a blood oath? That blood oath is what is binding us together. And that is the reason for your childlessness. Ah! Oh, call me! Help me, I just licked the blood. I didn't take it seriously. <laughs> I didn't know it will result to this. I cost you. I cost the day you left for United States of America. And I cost the day I came into your father's house as a house help. I am the reason for your wife's barrenness. Ah! Douglas! Oh! Mommy. Douglas, you've killed me. Please. It was the work of the devil. Forgive me, please. Well, for your information, I didn't bring my daughter for you to have her. And you can never have her. Why would you have her, by the way? Where were you when I suffered? Where were you when I carried her for nine months? Where were you when I was humiliated? Douglas, you destroyed me. You dehumanized me. Destroyed my womanhood. You can never have my daughter. Never. Rosie, shall we come? Please, please, please. Thank you. Please. I beg you in the name of God. I beg you to please forgive my daddy. Oh, please, please find a place in your heart to forgive Chief. I know he has wronged you. I can, I can imagine. Okay? But please, find a place in your heart to forgive Chief. If not for anything, for the sake of your beautiful daughter. And for the sake of God. He, he can change from doggy master to, to, to man of God. Please. God can change him. Please forgive him. Please. Please. Please forgive me. It is the work of the devil. I didn't plan to maltreat you. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Rosalie. Yes. Please. I am sorry. 
I pledged to be a good father. <laughs> I didn't intend to treat your mother and you like that. I am sorry. Please love you, too. please forgive me. <laughs> like you said, please. <laughs> please, Mama. Please forgive my husband. I can't wait to have a child of my own. Please. Please, I beg of you. Please, Florence. Please. A woman like me should know how I feel being childless. Tell me you're kidding right now. My sister. I was so shocked to my bones. Who would believe that uh, the almighty Chief Douglas is your father? Do you know? If you, if you wake me up and say, Chief Douglas is your father, I will never believe it. I have never even visualized it, that he will even be related to me. Talk more of being my father. Oh my God. Um, what is Jimmy saying about this? He's so happy. He's very, very happy I've united with my father. Who would not be happy? Eh? Look at Rosalind, that was fatherless. Sister. Now have a father and her. The, the, a very rich one at that matter. My sister, I can't even believe it. Like, for the past 30 years, it's been crazy. And, and all of a sudden, God just, like, I don't know how the whole thing just happened. But I'm just so happy and I'm so grateful to God. Like, everything just turned out this way. I am so happy for you. I am so happy for you, my friend. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so, when is Jimmy coming to see your parents with his kinsmen? Oh, this week. He's coming on Sunday. He said he can't wait any longer. So fast! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for the both of you. Yes, let me shock you. Mm. My dad gave Jimmy and I 10 million naira <gasps> to plan our wedding. Oh my! <laughs> oh. And after that, we'll be going to Dubai for our honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not? I'm telling Look you. Look at Rosalind. Rosalind will be traveling to, 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 to Dubai very soon. Yes, sir. And I'm here. <laughs> Have you not been traveling since? I mean, I've been in this town, walking, walking, walking. You know, my so... travel is just Ghana now. I've not gone to Dubai. <laughs> Don't worry, you know my friend. We'll go together now. So that we share the bed together. <laughs> Uh -huh. That reminds me. Yeah. Have you gone for um, test checkup? Because it's very vital. Yes, we did that um, during lunch. Oh. Went to teaching hospital. I trust you. <laughs> You're very intelligent. I know. Uh, see, I am going to be your maid of honor. Don't even try to use someone else. If not, I will break you. <laughs> of course. Of course, Debbie. I just want to, Debbie. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you. You know, you've been there for me. You've been a friend I never had. When everybody was against me, I didn't have a father, you were there for me. You advised me and you always look out for me. Hey, you don't have to cry. You don't have to. See, you're a good person. And I'm happy you ended well. I am happy you're happy. Thank okay? you so much. You don't have to cry. Come on. <coughs> it's okay. Thank Thank you. It's nothing. I'm grateful. It's nothing. For being an amazing friend. <laughs> Everyone deserves a friend like you. It's nothing. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> my beautiful angel, how are you? I'm very well, Dad. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Are you? I'm very well. <laughs> Great. So, where is my priceless jewel off to? Oh, Dad, you know, I went to see the designer to know what they are doing and everything. So, I'm just coming from there. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Did you see Jimmy? Yes, I saw him already. So, we'll be going for lunch pretty soon. <laughs> uh, yeah. I you decided to check on this? Of course, Dad. I have to, you know, stop by to say hi. Uh, that's very thoughtful of you. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Yes. 
I hate that. Yeah, I saw something when I was coming in. A signpost, so I wanted to know what that is all about. <laughs> oh, yes. It was your fiance's idea. I mean, he wants us to get a replacement for you. Oh, I see. <laughs> he said something about that. Yes. So how is it going? Well, it's going well. We, we are moving forward. Um, as a matter of fact, he interviewed two people this morning. Already? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. <laughs> He's so serious with his work. <laughs> you see, the, the truth of the matter is that um, I want my beautiful angel to have some rest so that he can look healthy, you know. To get wedded to the fiance. You know? I know. <laughs> that's that's so thoughtful of you. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I can't wait to see you walk the aisle with your half throat. I can't even wait myself uh -huh. to say I do. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So dad. I will leave you now to continue with what you are doing. So I'll see you in the evening. It's alright. Alright. Alright, Dad. I will not forget this so. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, <Yeah>. sorry. <laughs> arrange it for me. Arrange it for me. Ooh. You can't even arrange it. <laughs> Right. Okay, Dad. Okay. See you. See you, my angel. Bye. Bye. Oh. I thought of so much. Could it be she tendered her resignation letter to the company? She resigned, maybe, to have time to plan her wedding. No wonder the company wants a new secretary. <sighs> Stephanie, you missed it. You should have been the one running around for your wedding by now. How come I never thought of giving Jimmy a chance? He loved me. He pleaded with me severally to accept his marriage proposal. But I was carried away by materialism. I was not able to see what lies ahead. I only cared about what I can see and not taking cognizance of tomorrow. Jimmy would always remind me that no condition is permanent. I am still single at my age. At 30, no man to call my own. When all my mates are married with kids, my younger sisters are all married with children. I missed it. Jimmy is a good man. He did everything possible to make me love him. But I hated him. I abused him. I called him names just because he was poor. I went overboard. How could I have known that an ordinary company's messenger would turn out to become the company's general manager in its twinkle of an eye? Jimmy, the company's messenger, now the general manager of Douglas and Douglas Associates Limited, it beats my imagination. Oh, should have seen it coming. I was spiritually daft. I underestimated Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> now, he wants to marry the one that was there for him when he was nothing. What have I done to myself? This is my 
I have to pick the broken pieces of my life from where I have fallen. No, I will never accept this ignominious defeat. If I can't have Jimmy, then Rosalind can't either. I have to stop them. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, sir. Yes, um, I summoned this meeting because there have been uh, rumors of some of the staff complaining that uh, Rosalind has not been on duty for a while now. And that I can understand because uh, really she has not been around. Uh, for example, the accountant saw me yesterday and uh, it was short of acquiring me why Rosalind has not been reporting for work. So I felt that it is only good and normal for me to let you know why she has not been around. Okay. Um, Rosalind here, my daughter, and my son-in-law, Jimmy, will be getting married very soon. And, um... Sorry, Chief. Did you say Rosalind, your daughter? And Jimmy, your son-in-law? Of course. <laughs> you see, Rosalind is my biological daughter. My only child at that. And, um... Jimmy is my son-in-law because they're about getting married. Anyway, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by Stephanie here. They will be getting married very soon and uh, as a result, my daughter is relinquishing her position as the company secretary. You know, consequently, I have appointed another company secretary and that is the person of uh, Miss Kate. Please stand. <laughs> you may sit <see> down. <laughs> um, so like I said, my daughter Rosalind and uh, my son Jimmy will be getting married. Um, I want to use this opportunity to invite you to attend their traditional marriage that will be taking place this Saturday. And that will be immediately followed by their wedding. And that will be the next Saturday after this one. Well, they told me they are going to Berlin in Germany. I don't know <laughs> the reason for that choice, but that's what we want. <laughs> so by the time they are back from um, their honeymoon, my beautiful daughter, Rosalind, will be taking over my position as the MD of this company. <laughs> Together with my son Jimmy, I'm very sure that they will take the company to greater heights. And uh, I trust that all of you will cooperate with them and uh, assist them in moving the company forward. You know, I am getting old, no gain saying that. Um, so I'm retiring partially, but I still remain the uh, chief executive officer of this company. So I'll be coming to the office from time to time to check how things are going. And I'm sure that we all work together to give this company you know, the growth and profitability that it well deserves. Congratulations. Thank you. 
You're all invited. I just yeah. wanna love somebody and pray that someone loves me back. I just wanna be the best I can. I don't wanna live a life of crime. Jagada, retreat. I cannot afford to play with the life of the daughter of a man who picked me from the slum and gave me reasons to leave. She is Chief Douglas's only child. Yes. So, we are not going to carry out a kidnap anymore. Jagada. Like I said, I am no longer interested. And please, cease every communication with me henceforth. If it's about the money I gave you, don't worry, you can have it. Use it to better your life. Have a good day. I think this is where I have come to the end of my illicit lifestyle. Slay queen, slay mama. Who slay queen help? Who slay queen? cannot pay chief evil for his kindness towards me. I'm just going to give my life to Christ. I believe that one day he'll have mercy on me and bless me with my own husband. Where have you been for long? 
Oh 